Well, guys, we are back for another episode of the Liberal Asshole Show, episode 113. And what are today's topics? Hurricanes Helene and Milton annihilate American South. Nick Cruz is a terminally online clown. Media Sun destroys dumb dumb leftists. Karen Kasparian wearing turf turf drift complete. VP debate. Green Party voters being unserious. Iran attacks Israel again, and Israel attacks Hezbollah. All right, a lot of topics to cover, and only three of them are actually um, videos. So, what do you want to cover first? Uh, well, we can start with. Let me give me a moment to check something here. It is okay. That's the debate. That's Medi, and that's oh. We'll do Hurricane Helene and Milton devastating the American <sighs> South. And, of course, laughing at conspiracy fears, too. <laughs> yes. So, of course, yes. the last two weeks, the South has been hit by both Hurricane Helene and Milton. As Helene mm -hmm. hit at, like, both hit at, like, Category 3 strength. Helene, of course, got to Category mm. 4, and Milton got to Category 5. It's actually the fourth major hurricane we had this year, and the second Category 5 hurricane, which well, we haven't I had think with in this a long one, time. I think with this one, if they had it, um, the Mil is it Milton or Helene? Yeah, Milton would have actually been a Category 6 if uh, they had a Cat 6. Because Milton is, in terms of barometric pressure, which is the most important thing to measure hurricane strength, it was the fifth strongest Atlantic hurricane of all time. And it got to 100. Getting out, to the point was... where, getting to the, get into the limits in that part of the world with, um, how with the things like how small the um, eye can be and how low the barometric pressure can get. Yeah, the smallest in Atlantic history was Wilma back in 2005, which went down to 882, I think. And that's not even mm. the weakest. The weakest was eight, lowest was 870, Typhoon Tip, and such. Mm. So yeah, it um Helene of course hit like the Florida Panhandle and affected Georgia, North Carolina, Tennessee, all them with massive flooding. And last well, I checked, it killed over 230 people, which is the deadliest hurricane mm. since Katrina, which is wild to hear that, mm -hmm. like 19 years later. And Milton yeah. just hit r yesterday, so no idea how yep. much damage is done, but both are going to be in the tens of billions of dollars in damage mm -hmm. and all that. Very unfortunate and such. And it's, it's really weird because this year, because remember it with El Nino, by the way, for all of you don't know, El yep. Nino actually ended a few months ago. If you, did you yep. know about that? So yeah, of course, like we said before with El Nino, when El Nino's around, we get less hurricanes. And this season, until just recently, was very inactive, actually. And then you got two in a row. And um, Two in a row. One yeah, that was directly after the other. Yeah, Don't worry, there'll be years due to climate change where it'll be three months where it'll just be one hurricane after another, after another, after another, after well, another, after another. And they'll like, all just well, yeah, follow like, through in a big line yeah, like line El, across El, Florida like El and put Florida underwater. Like La, La, um, El Nino, whatever, went the opposite when we get hurricanes all the time, like in 2020 and 2021. But, La, yeah. But um, now, of course, the hurricane season, the average is August 10th to September 10th. All of a sudden, hurricanes are forming late September into now. We've had so many of them yeah. recently. It's insane and such. Thanks, but, thank you to climate change for that. Yep, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So yeah, don't forget, don't forget that that um, let me check where was it? The twenty twenty four Atlantic hurricane season. You want to see up all the stats, and of course, um, and of course, had to keep the Atlantic up. meridional overturning circulation uh, is going to be is like in the early stages of shutting down. So that's just going to make things worse. But yeah, very unfortunate, and of course. It sucks that all the people died. If you could donate to Red Cross, do so. And f there's a whole bunch of idiots, unfortunately, we've seen over the last mm -hmm. few weeks. Oh, my oh God. Yes. So many the people. Seditious car and greed and so many others. <laughs> Not just that, but all the idiots that, like, refused to evacuate and all that. Yeah. Because you're a bunch I of idiots. I remember that. Oh, God. There was this one idiot I saw for Helene when it hit who was on one of the... Florida beaches while it was surging water. They oh, saw, wow. They, they saw a webcam, and guess what they did? What? They pulled out a Trump 2024 sign in front of it. <laughs> because of course they did. Yeah, because that's so important to worry about when you're in the middle of a freaking hurricane flooding the beach. Yeah. yeah that's so important. So, yeah. And, of course, and, of course, as you mentioned, K-1 
Karen Green, another idiot dumb fucks, acting like some sort of conspiracy theory that Democrats are trying to kill him with hurricanes and control the weather yep. and all that and other stupid stuff. Yep, hop. You familiar about all the conspiracy theories around Harp? Yes, because they've used that. Yeah, so they've been around for they've been around for so long. Yep, like come on, people, you we can't really control the weather outside of climate change, make it worse, of course. But we can't directly mm -hmm. control the weather. And even if we did, why would the American government cause two major hurricanes to hit? the country that's tens of billions of dollars and hundreds of people yep. dead there's no benefit from it you idiots oh my gosh you're dumb as shit so yeah let's yep. listen to idiots being stupid oh my gosh what do you think happened with the hurricanes i think there was an upcoming storm and then i think government set in with Whatever it is that they do, I don't know all the specifics about it. I'm not an expert in cloud seeding or whatever it is that they use to magnify the storm to a higher degree to disturb. Oh, uh, we do make hurricanes stronger, but that's climate change, not cloud seeding. Yeah, like, yeah. Lithium. cloud yeah, seeding is like this is thing that the UAE do, does from time to time because time to time because they get so there are period long periods where they get literally no rain otherwise. Yeah, and American government has done cloud seeding for hurricanes before to experiment see if it gotten them weak or not, and that's how they found about eyewall replacement cycles. Taking in, uh -huh. like there's been people out there if they have an Alexa, I don't know if you've heard that, and they've asked what caused Milton. Okay. You can go on there now. It's already predicted the number of deaths and the amount of. It's already predicted it. You on a Google, it won't it. It's not if predicting. It's a Halim, guesstimation. It'll tell you the government actually yeah. used. Seed. Speaking of which. Clouding. Since I haven't checked Milton yet, let's go on the Wikipedia. Even happens. Why would a country want to have a hurricane be strong and hit its own country? Because they want... twenty. So far for Milton, 20 plus deaths and over $50 billion in damage. Jeez. Places. And if you're looking at where the just as a reference, going, I don't even think that's in the top 10 for most damage in ever. If you're looking at the counties in North Carolina that were hit, there were all of them... 26 out of 28 of those counties were for Trump. They're doing whatever they can because the, they can't the biggest the even control the, the biggest weather. The Democratic yes. district in North Carolina was hit as well. Yeah, but who cares about them, remember? <laughs> Your ears are not deceiving you, my friends. You just heard a Trump supporter tell Jason Selvig of The Good Liars that she unironically believes that Democrats are not only controlling the weather, but they are controlling the weather specifically to rig the election against Donald Trump. Very healthy and normal country Good we're living in. Now, I wish that I could say that this was a fringe conspiracy theory and that was the only person who's ever said something so absurd, but within the span of about a week or so, that conspiracy theory has become arguably mainstream in some conservative circles, thanks to prominent conservatives like Marjorie Taylor Greene, who are claiming that Democrats can indeed control the weather and that it's ridiculous for anyone to say that it can't be done. It now, can't Marjorie be done. Made How about that? that after popular yeah. 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 Other climate change, of course, that's still not controlling the weather. About how elites yeah, will but that, never that of course, um, hurricane. seditious Karen Greene doesn't believe in climate change. She thinks mm -hmm. it's a it's a Chinese hoax. And yep. in order to interfere with the election, wink, wink. And the claim that weather is being controlled to subvert democracy was parroted by individuals like. By the way, all these um idiots are all blue check marks. Thank you, Elon Gabriel. That's yep. great for that, of course. Miss Taylor, of course a GOP is. leader in Georgia who also oh, happens to be a flat earther, unsurprisingly. But I mean, this like claim is not. Oh no, this in stupid yep. idiot! Oh no! Oh god, this is gonna be dumb. In Georgia, who also happens to be a flat earther, unsurprisingly. Listen to this. But I mean, this claim is oh, not being earth, echoed in other viral posts on Twitter, such as this one, where the user says, "No hurricane here in Texas. It's on the same ocean as Florida. Why? Texas is not a swing state." Because both hurricanes weren't going for Texas. You stupid. Fuck! Oh my God! How dumb are you? Oh my God! Come on! But this is yeah, one of the how big the golf is. Florida's not the only golf state, you dipshit. Oh Turk, my God! For example, a major account on Twitter with millions of followers is discouraging people from listening to meteorologists. Of course, Cat Turn being an idiot, saying um, meteorologists are stupid because they kept changing the wind speed and all that. Be yeah, because sure. it changes as time goes on, you idiots. Since they God. couldn't anticipate winds. Don't leave. Don't. God, come on. 
don't, don't talk about hurricanes if you don't 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 know about them like I do. As cover them for like twenty plus with years. With the utmost specificity. Yeah. And well, in that's this because tweet, Cat Turd is just a brain. It's just a brain dead NPC. Is like <laughs> literally everyone is in on a conspiracy against my god emperor Trump. This user juxtaposes a video of Biden shooting down the notion that he can control the weather with a video of former CIA director John Brennan supposedly confirming that it can indeed be done. The problem is that he's not saying what that person thinks he's saying. He is talking about the potential for geoengineering technology in the form of cloud seeding to one day hopefully mitigate the effects of climate. And and like we said before, the American government has done cloud seeding on hurricanes before to see if it weakens them. Yep. It doesn't do anything so far we know and us mm -hmm. doing that we found out about eyewall replacement cycle and at first people thought yep. that cloud seeing caused but no we found it's a natural thing that hurricanes do climate change but the technology cannot be replicated on a mass scale nor can it be used to control hurricanes or alter their trajectories or increase their intensity it's like saying that middle schoolers can control the weather because they created tornadoes and two liter jugs in their science class hey, it's genuinely nonsensical that. but the problem mm, is that the fine. explanation is just further evidence to them that they're it's right sure about this. And I say this because <laughs> they then started everything, to link yeah, cloud as seeding as to chemtrails. Everything and that they posts... see <laughs> is... Scares the crap out of them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Everything that, media. um, everything is part of the conspiracy. Lack of evidence of the conspiracy is part, is evidence of, cons of the conspiracy. And Marjorie it's an Taylor Green also shared hypothesis. memes supposedly yep. proving her right that featured a list of nonsensical weather modification patents, and she subsequently shared an article from a right-wing website that supposedly bolsters her bullshit claim. But I mean, if you click that link, you'll see more fear oh, hello, about Gateway cloud Pundit. seeding. It also talks about studies hey, regarding hey. geoengineering, which are yes, real, yes, but yes, not proof yes. that Democrats control the weather. And you'll also see an interview by anti-vax conspiracy theorist oh, RK, hello, Jr., RK Jr. Where you interview someone Why from geoengineeringrush.org. Very compelling. The Russian brain this worm. Isn't necessarily a new conspiracy theory, one, right? Oh, of course, Trump saying China is making hurric making hurricanes stronger with hurricane guns. <laughs> when since Trump reportedly wanted to bomb oh China when he God. was president, Remember, because he of thought course, they got of course, Trump had to take it and make it extra stupid. And remember, guys, he said before, "What if we? How about we nuke hurricanes?" Remember that yep. because we he's covered it. They were using yes, a fucking idiot. Gun on us. But it is the first time that they're tying because this conspiracy theory dead. to That's their claims why. about. Do you idiots not realize how powerful hurricanes are? Nukes wouldn't do anything to them. It's been theorized no, that if no. we somehow were able to catch the strength of a hurricane, made a, a major hurricane for our entire lifetime, it would provide enough power. To cover all of America's electricity needs for an entire year. That's how Whoa. powerful they are. You really think a nuke's gonna do anything to them? No. And not only that, you would just make an irradi mean irradiate hurricane. It would just spread radiation all around. Real smart. Mm -hmm. The election being stolen, which is plus all the of ocean too around more delusional the than the their ocean. claims about Democrats yeah. creating COVID to win the last election. Oh yeah, but, I mean, remember if Democrats COVID? were so his, omnipotent his and malevolent that to the point uh, yes. where they're creating wait, the wait, 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 party bioweapon wait, virus. Wait, I thought it was China made the COVID, not Democrats. Man, you all can't keep your conspiracies in order. Who to blame? <laughs> remember, remember, that the, um, remember that the other one is that Anthony Fauci was patient zero of the pandemic. Or maybe it's just the Jews that did it, remember? <laughs> Wouldn't it be easier to just rig the election the good old-fashioned way? By limiting the number of voting machines and precincts that lean oh, Republican, wait, or by Republicans purging do. eligible voters from yep. the rolls, or by refusing to certify the results in counties Again, they lose, that's what or Republicans by using do. alternative hmm. slates of fraudulent yep. electors and states like that they lost. You know, the way that Republicans rig exactly. elections. Exactly. I mean, wouldn't that just be easier than literally creating entire hurricanes? But well, see, how, not. Not, see, not how, see, Mike, that's called being maybe a little bit more rational for conspiracy theorists. Exactly, They're yeah. irrational. Because that would require critical mm -hmm. thinking skills to these people, which they don't have. We gotta be as and crazy as all possible. of the Republican politicians ah, and influencers who sold conspiracy theories to their followers are now beginning to realize that they've created a monster that... Oh my god, too. I don't know if Mike gets into it, the but... Monster's always, the monster's always been there. Oh. They just change uh, the targets every year or so every couple of months i don't know if mike's covers but oh my god there have been so many idiots on twitter that said that um helene and milton are fake and didn't ha exist oh, uh, of look at all the damage in all the states does that look fake to you 
Yeah, sure. And and then, oh my god, here's another one. I don't know if Mike gets this as well, but these idiots are also blaming Biden for them not getting federal aid relief. No, 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 you're not, no, you're not going to get away with that, pal. Biden has nothing to do with this. This is all Republicans' fault by not passing more FEMA money. They choke them, and then they don't give money when they need it. It's all Republicans' fault that you're not getting aid. Biden has nothing to do with it. I don't forget that adult death sentence is removed. All mentions of climate change Mm -hmm. and that we're not allowed to talk about it. They're not allowed to mention it. They're not even allowed to reference it. They're only allowed to talk about conspiracy theories. And also, didn't you know... They're not only allowed to talk about conspiracy theories. And also, didn't you know that slavery is good, actually? (laughs) Yeah, everything. And I say this because Elon Musk, who frequently shares... Yeah, slavery is good. The Nazis are good. The Holocaust was good. The Armenian genocide was good. That's what they believe. Conspiracy theories about Democrats rigging elections shot down the idea that Democrats control the weather and denied that this is even a wide... E- Elon getting Musgrave doesn't believe the weather control nonsense. He said nobody actually thinks Dems oh, control wow. the weather. Nobody actually thinks Dems control the weather. Uh... Elon Gain Musgrave, all the idiots on Twitter do think that, so... Fred no. Belief yes, saying nobody actually do, thinks Dems so control you, the weather, Lamar. But he quickly got a wake-up call when some of his own followers reminded him that they actually do think that Democrats control the weather. Writing, not control, but let's stop pretending that they aren't actively attempting to modify it. It's literally the only documented we at do this is point as a fact. And at that point, this person says it's not Dems per se, but globalists. But for those who don't know, no this is code for it. Jewish people. Uh, they then linked to an Infowars video, very reputable. Mm-hmm. Uh, this person says, not the Dems, but they, whoever they are, have been capable the of steering storms for 30 years. <laughs> yeah. I there love how we went the same thing. Our we can others. pretty much it just be like, yeah, space, you can pretty much man. just this be like, all right. Says, it's funny. I got it, yeah, just put the Jews in there. Yeah, come- Oh, we're going to get to an anti-Semite very soon. <laughs> Over the last year, I've gone full circle, and I actually do believe that it's possible the Democrats control the weather. I never would have thought that before, but after everything I've seen, I would not put it past them. And then this person just tells him that he needs to listen to his new fans who are telling him that it can be done. And those are just a couple of examples. We barely scratched the surface in terms of the anti-Semitic conspiracy theories about there we go. Jewish people Anti-Semitism. controlling the weather. But I'm talking about not everyone who replied yeah, to Elon Musk course. confronted him about... I guess his woke belief that Democrats I guess, I guess aren't it's controlling the to blame weather, Haitians now. but we've reached the point where it is <laughs> yeah. genuinely controversial yeah, for conservatives to, oh, to say, news. which is yeah, sad. That's, well, that's because they're not the public, eating everyone again. Now they're just eating everything, eating all the animals and people. In Carlos yeah, Jimenez, now they're going back to the good old, the good to the old 116 of the 2020 election, year old said one. That fellow election you. denier Marjorie Taylor Greene even older than that, remember? I know, but the 116, but the main thing when it comes to that, Anti-Semitism uh, originates from the protocols yep. of the elders it's Zion. It's accused of so, being part of the cabal himself. So as you can see, it is now controversial to claim that Democrats cannot control the weather, just as it's controversial to That's say that you shouldn't drink carrots. raw milk or that you should take the COVID yep. vaccine. And vicious but Karen <laughs> Greed. How much do you want to bet all these idiots are in like the Gulf in the South where hurricanes are active and they should know better? <laughs> A lot of them. I mean, come on. John DeSantis is. Like, I mean, guys. Marjorie Taylor Green is. She's in Georgia. Yeah. Like, I um, me- yeah, like a lot of them are. Would probably be. Like I've mentioned before, the biggest threat to me weather-wise is hurricanes across the entire coastline from the Atlantic to the Gulf. Now, of course, we don't get really hurricanes. We usually get the remnants of such. But come on, man. Know about hurricanes like I do for crying out loud. Stop being stupid. They're individuals who also spread conspiracy theories. And the thing is, you guys are in the South. You get them more regularly than we do. You should know better. He's like Ron DeSantis is having to come out and say... The Democrats control, let's see, Charlie Francis Ivan Jean in 2004... In Florida, in 2004, Florida had four major hurricanes hit in a month str- in a month stretch, and I'm not kidding about that. Yeah. And I got no, the remnants of all four of them. To these conspiracy theories about the hurricane, and he has to Maryland. say this. Let's go because it's mm. actually impeding their ability to mitigate damage from Hurricane Milton. Maybe he wants to play along and attack Democrats, but he can't because this is actually a threat to them. You know, we live in an era where if you put out crap online. You can get a lot of people to share it and you can monetize that. That's just the way it is. But 
if you're hearing things, something that's just outrageous, just know. And in the state of Florida, none of that stuff would, would ever fly. Be careful Death about the Santis nonsense. Santis actually just, being smart for once in his life? What am I seeing here? The more here? titillating it is, the more this likely is somebody is making money How off of it. How do you guys make uh, Death Santis like 1% they don't really give a damn about once. the well-being and safety of the people and he denies climate that are actually change in the eye of this storm. It's all just he trying denies to them. He denies what they're science. doing. He's right. He's probably a and creationist this notion that Democrats can control the weather is one of many conspiracy theories that is being pushed about these hurricanes. But the problem is that Ron DeSantis and his ilk are part of the main spreaders of conspiracy theories. He's the one yep. who helped condition the Republican Party's base to reject science and reject the advice from experts. So, I mean, after you've implied because that it was dangerous for them to take the COVID vaccine after the government recommended it, mm -hmm. why would they and listen to FEMA, couples. the federal government, when they're being told to evacuate? What if it's some ploy from the federal government? And yeah, to when they tell you to evacuate, fucking just do it. That way you won't be dead. Exactly. Take their home mm -hmm. and give it to an immigrant. I mean, the climate of paranoia was fostered in part by people like Ron DeSantis, who insinuated that Democrats yep. are rigging elections and that queer people are all grooming kids. So, I mean, while I appreciate him debunking when every time rumors a about the hurricane, caught, they're he always absolutely Republican. bears a Avalon. lot of responsibility <laughs> for the Alex Jones vacation of the Republican Party. And every it's time bad enough if election this was just a stupid happens, thing all that because people believed that always. was harmless, but that's not the yep. case. This is causing real problems in the world. And Twitter is like you all are going to go to be fair, shit but the four claims next about month, Democrats controlling the Kamala weather wins. blows ahead of Milton's arrival. <laughs> and then we're going to laugh. Yeah, conservative threats of violence on TikTok against female officials. And then 40 officials years of racism and misogyny. Holly. Let's go. For example, there was one viral yeah. TikTok threatening to kill Obama officials years again. for treason if they withhold aid yeah, or don't let people into certain areas to help. Another celebrated the false claim that a FEMA agent was assaulted and also suggested. Oh yeah, oh they're spreading some bullshit lies about FEMA too. That they're on purpose like fucking them over and all that no don't listen to this crap oh my god it's so bad for i saw this earlier today there's actually a wikipedia article about misinformation about both hurricanes that's how bad it is people. oh fuck that this could be the start of a new let's see if war. i can find in it the again event, the government declares martial law i couldn't believe and has to send morning. in the national guard oh. to protect fema aid you're not gonna believe another it. call Where for other north carolinians to organize Milton. a convoy since fema wasn't letting them help and suggested that this was all being done at the oh, behest of immigrants that? for some reason and there were many other examples but the institute for strategic dialogue found that twitter was another hotbed for anti-semitism and of threats course, directed it's, it's at public Elon officials of course now, listen, it's if you live in an area that's affected by the hurricanes it is yeah. very, I very told you, all you that. could lose everything. So I understand why emotions are high. And if you feel like Look the government isn't doing today. enough and they're also not letting you help, you found it's it. easy to see how Still things escalate so quickly if people are already predisposed to conspiratorial thinking. But I mean, the reason why FEMA officials might discourage people from helping is because these people don't know what they're doing. Don't get me wrong, I think it's commendable to want to help your neighbors, that's good. But the problem is that these people who try to help Finally either end up getting in the way now, of the first link. responders or they end up endangering Found themselves. As well. So FEMA officials aren't saying Let you can't copy. help because they want you to die or they want your neighbors to <laughs> die. They're saying that, that you can't help because you're helping them sometimes impedes their ability to oh, do their job. It's not It's not a research program. That's what HARP is. Oh, they're blaming... Oh, it's actually blaming La Nina now. Is La Nina even in effect <laughs> right now? No. Yeah, no, because they're either we're expecting that Australia is expecting like ultra hot, affecting extremely hot conditions, where and a huge and more hurricanes than usual. Yeah, because like I said, El Nino. If that happens, then we're gonna get a whole bunch more hurricanes, like 2020, 2021, which had like almost 30 each year but they think mm -hmm. it's nefarious but i mean fema officials aren't the only ones bearing the brunt of the abuse from conservative I know that conspiracy theories for you, but not for us, even please. meteorologists it was nice not have spoken out about how these year. conspiracy theories <laughs> have affected their jobs yeah, too yeah, right the winner of the rolling stones yeah, right spoke to meteorologists like matthew capucci who's based in dc who told her quote for me to yeah, post don't to her when one thing's good for us it's bad for the other came forecast for people to accuse me of creating the hurricane by working for some secret illuminati entity is disappointing and distressing and it's resulting in a decrease in public trust says meteorologists he says he hasn't slept in Florida multiple days and is exhausted this last week he received hundreds yeah. of messages from people accusing him of modifying the weather and creating <laughs> hurricanes from space lasers meteorologist i spoke with say conspiracy theories have been flipped 
Guys, these meteorologists have probably had to deal with enough stress enough during yeah. when hurricanes land all that. Can you let them alone and do their damn job in peace? Come on! In their inboxes. The main exactly. one that people have seemed to latch on to is the accusation that the government with. can control the weather. Mm -hmm. This theory seems to be amplified with climate change creating worsening storms combined yeah, with the... They believe in conspiracy theories and all that, but they won't believe the oh, actual mind. cause that oh. makes hurricanes stronger, climate change. Yeah. Really weird. Yeah, and the course. vitriol is being directed at meteorologists. Quote, I've been doing this for 46 years, and it's never been like this, says Alabama meteorologist James Spann. He says he's been inundated with misinformation and threatening messages like stop oh, lying about the government controlling too. the weather or mm. else. Also, sure meteorologist Katie Nicolau, who's gone again. viral for debunking misinformation, says that she's also received threatening messages. One said, yep. quote, stop the breathing of those that made them and their affiliates. Then she responded, saying that she would not allow people to advocate for murder quote murdering meteorologists won't stop hurricanes Imagine she tweeted hating i can't believe i just had to type that so <laughs> that's why where would we're you at. hate that when have they and ever James done anything Spann, bad the alabama-based meteorologist that lorena spoke to said that people are sending in messages claiming that the moon has been nuked to control the hurricanes and also uh, the moon has been nuked to steer hurricanes <laughs> into north carolina <laughs> Guys, I it, anything. Guys, Holy guys shit. I don't even think we have a rocket that could f launch a nuke to the moon. It's that far away. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way. You'd be, you'd be lucky. I don't think we'd, have, we, we'd struggle to have a nuke to hit the fucking International Space Station. Oh and the gosh. moon is... Like, if it, we're not going to be able to hit something 400 kilometers away. We're not hitting something with uh, 240,000 kilometers away. Oh, yeah? 240,000 miles, 400,000 kilometers. Oh, yeah? Oh, God. Oh, yeah, buddy? You're a Jew. How about that? <laughs> Just... You're the Jew! We're in a bad place <laughs> as a society where there is this financial incentive to spread misinformation on social media coupled with a strong demand for such misinformation Thank you, among the population that is yeah. increasingly conspiratorial you must love about love literally it. everything. You love, they love it. the worst part is that I really tampons? don't know if it's possible to bring no, people back to reality. No, it's why I'm not on Twitter. So I'll talk about Elon. I'll talk about Elon. Oh, he does. Yes, he absolutely does. Hey, Elon, you're not proposed to eat him, you know. alternate plane of reality. Yeah. You're supposed to shove him, you know what? of society but then again <laughs> but don't but knowing you you might actually like shoving up back there because <laughs> you're that much of a clown oh my god so yeah what do you gotta say about these idiots what a funny way to start off <laughs> that is just sad that everybody the, the blue check marks are like hey we need to turn this into a conspiracy theory because we need to turn everything into a conspiracy theory because it's how we continue to exist hey and then when you, your next heat wave shows up you can have your idiots down there blaming juice for it then yep. <laughs> looking forward yep. to that because <laughs> hey it's about oh, to be yeah. summer no for worry. you soon don't no worry pauline hansen and a few of the other and oh the no global sky news will Hey. So if Pauline Hanson will just talk, we'll just start uh, mentioning the new world order because she hasn't updated her dog whistles in about thirty years. No, we'll just blame the Aboriginals. Remember? <laughs> <laughs> yep, about to become summer for you soon, as we just got like down to forty degrees tonight. It was the first time in months I had yep. to wear full clothes again. All right, so now huh. we, now we've done laughing one I mean, a whole bunch of idiots. What's next? Next up is the Nick Cruz Terminally Online Clown. Oh, man. What if I told you I went for like 20, 30 pages of his tweets today and I only got to like late September on his tweets? He tweets okay. like every... Oh, okay. Let me give me an idea. Get, let me um get a calculator up. Okay. So, let's do this as a cal let's calculate this. So, the guy... What was the, la what was the date, last date you saw? on it today when i was looking up stuff it was yeah the, it was the um i think the 10th the 10th so you got a month back we'll no no i only got like two weeks back in two weeks back in 30 okay. pages in 30 pages 30 pages now approximately how many tweets a page are we talking about here probably like up to maybe 50 The guy freaking retweets his That's own- That's a hundred plus tweets a day! The guy- Dude! The guy- What are you doing? That's, that's I, literally all he has! 
I, I, I think that is NP, that's NPC behavior. I mean, that I, is genuinely NPC behavior. I mean, do you? I mean, are you surprised I said terminally online clown? <laughs> Well, there we go. Yeah, what terminally I, online clown and he's just tweeting and retweeting what, all day. What if I told you he retweets all his own tweets too? <laughs> that is doubly sad. Why? Well, that is doubly sad. Imagine looking up his tweets and find like five of the same thing over and over again. He keeps retweeting it and then retweets wow. the retweets. <laughs> okay, that explains that explains some of the um taking some of the tweets. Yeah, we. How you think I felt trying to look up all those tweets of stupidity earlier? <laughs> yeah. And of course, thank you, um, Elongated Musgrave for promoting them. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, you're probably wondering yeah. who are we even talking about? We're talking about the guy that mm -hmm. Harry loves so much, Nick Cruz, who yeah. runs the Revolutionary Blackout Network channel. Yeah, and right. he yes. Is Harry, a Harry's clown. boyfriend. He is a clown, <laughs> an idiot, and he says so many stupid things over. The years and all that, and the guy pretty much is up, out and about as an anti-Semite. Like literally oh, everything, yeah. everything. And by the way, every he's he's one that conflates Zionism with Judaism. That's what which I'm is saying. like the yeah. When we go through his tweets, like almost all of them are going to come back to Zionism. Every, almost every one yeah. of them, and it's wild. Yeah. He's like he's hardcore pro Russia, China, North Korea, and Iran. He actually yeah. defends. And supports January 6th now. He supports 10-7. Oh, yeah. Like wild. I said, like I said, when it, there's a point uh, when you go up the authoritarian scale where left and right just vanishes. He just... And broke, this guy is in that section. He took the horseshoe theory and he shattered into pieces. <laughs> yep. That's how insane he is. So yeah, let's yep. look at these tweets right here on Clown Nick Cruz. And this is just what I found in like an hour of going through back 30 pages. The first one is like the most banal, but since it just happened recently, it's NFL related. I decided to make fun of it. Uh, he's just, yeah, he's just, be, just in being anti-Semitic. So the first tweet was, The Zionist Jewish community can have NFL coaches and Harvard presidents fired at the snap of a finger. But if you bring up the same levels of influence, somehow you're anti-Semitic. What he's talking about is, the Jets head coach recently, Robert Sala, was fired. And of course, there's yeah. this conspiracy theory that's around these idiots. And by the way, Hotspot, on the tweet he replied to, that's Nico House, actually. <laughs> uh, so yeah, yeah, another one, idiot. One family online... Online moron and with an even bigger terminally online moron. So yeah, they're they're spewing this theory that Robert Sala was fired recently because he had a Leban had Lebanon's flag as a pin on his his alpha, as you can see right there. Now he is Lebanese American and he has done this for years. So why is it all of a sudden a big issue now? Of course, they blame the Jets owner who they say is a rabid Zionist. So, of course, <laughs> already going to the Jews. I have no idea yeah. if the Jets owner is Jewish or not. I don't really care. And I, as an NFL Either owner, I. I, and as an NFL owner, I could probably t explain better reason why Sal was fired. So, of course, he was hired in 2020 to be the Jets coach. In 2020, the Jets yep. were so bad, they started off 0-13 before they finished 2-14. <laughs> Holy shit. And they were Dog shit. The Jaguars won their first game, and they lost all the final 15 games, and I don't even think they were probably the worst team in the league. The Jets were worse. <laughs> so, yeah, he comes in, wow. the Jets coach, 2021, he gets them to 4-13. Then in 2022, he gets them to 7-4 with one of the league's best defenses, but their offense is so horrible that they went on to lose all the remaining games that finished 7-10. Then, oh. then 2023 comes along, and he decided to make a big blockbuster trade by bringing in Hall of Fame quarterback Aaron Rodgers. To lead a team to the Super Bowl. And he gets injured on the first drive of the game. For the rest of the season. <laughs> so, yeah. They went 7-10 once again. So, he was on thin ice oh. with three straight losing seasons. But they figured, you know, Rodgers yep. got injured. Let's give him a chance. They got destroyed the first game at the 49ers. Then they won two in a row. And then they lost two in a row now. With one of the worst offensive showings. They just lost the Vikings in London on Sunday. And Rodgers threw three Ooh. interceptions. With one of them being a pick six. Yeah, oh. just terrible offense, and he was fired because of it. And it's believed that he was fired not because he was Lebanese or anti-Semitism or whatever crap, but one, just he has a 20-36 record. It sounds like he refused yep. to fire 
the Jets offensive coordinator who I don't even know why they brought Nathaniel Hackett on. He was a horrible coach of the Broncos and they brought him on to show how bad our offense is. And also Aaron mm-hmm. Rodgers might have been involved too. But yeah. There are other reasons why he was probably fired. Maybe you should mm-hmm. think about before tweeting about. But of course, gotta blame the Jews. He doesn't as care we all know. because he's evil. Because he's uh, because he well, he because he wants to take every opportunity he can to be anti-Semitic. And obviously, they don't watch NFL like me because they're born they're and they're prudes. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, <laughs> Imagine not liking the NFL. How much of a loser do you have to be for an American? My brother's, my, brother's gone, my brother's gone into the NFL recently. Who, who can blame you? It's like rugby. Let's go. Actually, no, it evolved from rugby and soccer. Let's go. So then, here we go to the next one. And this is, he's done this so many times. He tweeted out a thing about 3.5 million U.S. Jews experience anti-Semitism since the 10-7 attacks, a survey found. Mm. And every time he finds one of these, he goes, shut the fuck up. Nobody cares. The Zionist, of course he does. the Zionist Jewish community are going for a mass collective psychosis where they can't find I mean help but be a victim even as they cheer the murders of children and terrorists. Truly sick people. Uh Fuck Nick sakes, Nick, dude. Nick, I care. Because unlike you, I mm-hmm. don't like anti Semitism and I don't like Islamophobia. But of course, yep, for some both reason, which have absolute, we're both of which have absolutely gone through the roof and into the stratosphere in yeah. the last year. And five unlike days. you, we condemn it and cover it. But for yeah. some reason, you don't have any problem with one of them. Hmm. Not denying that anti-Semitism charge. I see. We gotta say about that. Well, that's no surprise, considering consider again how much of an anti-Semite he is, how and how focused on Jewish people he is. All right now, we're gonna get to one that's really disgusting. Of course, recently was the anniversary of ten seven, and he yep. said the day before, and he said on ten seven was gonna be like the most pretentious day in American history, dealing with all the people. Oh wow! Be, people um um remembering ten seven, and he replied. Happy Palestine Liberation Day. Support what su- the actual fuck, dude? Supporting the resistance against Zionism means supporting them during their victories, not just showing sympathy when they're the victims. Dude, are you, re- dude? You really are gonna defend what Hamas did? You do realize Hamas killed eleven, like over eleven hundred innocent people. That ain't no damn liberation. And also. How is it the tens of thousands of Palestinians have been killed afterwards? How's that liberation for you? Hmm? Mm. Seems like you just instigated Israel to do a genocide against the Palestinians, just yep. like um, Al Qaeda instigated America to invade the Middle East because of 9 11. Your reaction yep. caused an even worse reaction. And no, yep. even it's if. It's all blowback. Yeah, even if we. And remember that even though we said. Um, remember though that the, that ISIS is still around mm-hmm. and that Al Qaeda has now resurged in North Africa. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, and of course. Like Mali, by, to be clear, like North Mali is basically Al Qaeda Stan. Mm-hmm. That's, it's that's, been for a while, but it's officially like that now. Remember, um, remember Northern Mali. ISIS Al Qaeda resurging in. Libya in places like in places like um like all oh, Nigeria and all the surrounding countries. Um, oh boy, what a Boko Haram will feel about countries. that. <laughs> and don't forget, and don't forget that Al Qaeda still has territory in Syria, protected mm. now by an international coalition. They literally have a base in Syria, and that at one point, Al Qaeda was the was in Yemen. Mm-hmm. Was the one was the one that had the most territory? They had the most territory in Yemen at one point. Yeah. So of course, getting to the point. Yeah, what Israel's doing before and after ten seven is absolutely unacceptable. But this reaction mm-hmm. is also unacceptable. Unaccept- Hamas is as evil as Israel, pal. Never defend this mm-hmm. crap. Come on, this is just exactly. Wrong. It's the same with Hezbollah. Hezbollah's as bad as Israel. Yep. Oh yeah, he also defends the Hoofies too. Of course, why am I not surprised? Of course, yep. I'm, 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 I bet you I wouldn't be surprised if I find him on 9/11 celebrating 9/11 too when it happens. <laughs> oh, he will. Oh, he will. He will. He's that type of bastard. And then of course, oh, this is going to get really funny. He is pro North Korea because they don't recognize Israel. <laughs> Of course. Again, of for, course again he does. this is the fourth tweet now that goes back to anti Semitism. 
You're defending North Korea because they don't recognize Israel. North Korea is like the worst country in the world. Who cares what they think? Come on, dude. Yeah. Imagine being a North Korea They're stand. An ant. They're an ant. Yeah. A poisonous ant. Like, come on. <laughs> like, come on. Like, there's gotta be... How low can you get? Damn, God, keep that anti-Semitic griff going. Uh, yep, oh, it is supposed to did. And then, of course, gotta get into another North Korean one. This one's really stupid. America yep. killed millions of Koreans while imposing on their sovereignty and then engaged in <laughs> economic I warfare. I on the sovereignty when um, North, Korea, North Korea imposed on the South and almost wiped it out. Yeah. Then we charged back almost, and then um, China intervened and balanced it to about where it is the imbalance it back to where it is now. If anything, I think North Korea lost territory in the end of it. <laughs> uh, Cause, they cause, lost a little bit of territory. Both sides, they like lost a little bit in the east and gained a little bit in the west. Yeah, but I think overall, I think they lost a little bit more. Remember, it was like a straight line, and it was like curved mm. now. But anyways, and yep. then they gained an economic warfare on them designed to starve the country as punishment for resisting them. Meanwhile, Americans hate the North Korea Hate North Korea and their people. Can someone please explain this to me? Americans are completely brainwashed and don't even realize it. Okay, wow. first, well, first off, yeah, we did kill millions of North Koreans in the war. It was wrong. But guess but what? They also killed millions of South Koreans in mm -hmm. the initial invasion. Yeah, because guess what? They invaded South Korea. They instigated the Korean War. Not America, yeah. not the West. They did. No one else but them. Because they thought they were, we weren't going to protect South Korea. And we and the United Nations. Because remember, it was UN2 that was involved. Not just America. Because yeah. people don't want to point that yeah. out. We saved them. We almost kicked their ass fully United Korea. But of course, China had to prevent mm. that from happening. So don't yeah. act like North Korea is like innocent in all this. They're not. Mm -hmm. And they're bad. End of discussion. And then, of course, here we exactly. go. Here we go into the January 6th one I told you about. It's wild. Yep. It's wild how Democrats don't understand that ordinary Americans don't give a damn about January 6th. The only sad thing about January 6th is that the Capitol didn't fall. <laughs> yeah, because he probably he's an accelerationist, so he thinks that a Trump dictatorship will motivate the left to overthrow the Trump dictatorship and install our own dictatorship. Uh, buddy, I am an, or, or, um, an ordinary American, and I do give a damn about it. How about that one? And no, January 6th was horrible. No exceptions. Stop making excuses for it. Oh my god, Hassan made excuses for it recently too. That's oh, boring. Of course he did. Of course he did. Oh my god. Which will mean, mean that Kyle will make a degree of excuse for it in his next video. <sighs> yep, God. Because you know that he need. Yep. Uh, the big thing I'd say to Kyle, if I could talk to him, is... You need to watch le watch and read less Hassan and more Dylan Burns. Mm hmm Same goes for you too, Vanguard. And I would say yep. TYT as well, but we know how long far they've gone, no, especially uh, Gary Kasparian. Yeah, TYT and <laughs> yeah. TYT and yeah. Well, Anna Kasparian is now a turf is now a turf shithead. And we're gonna make and fun of him. And going back to his old <laughs> Turkish nationalist roots. So And then we, and then we Well they're not the young um, let me I'm gonna check something. Oh Jake's like Sam Cedar's age, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he's 54, and Sam is 57. So, yeah. How old is Anna? She's only, th she's only 38. Okay, I'll she's a millennial sure how old like, Are you was. happy she's a millennial like us, but even stupider somehow? <laughs> yeah, I'm, te I'm technically a Z-lennial, so it only, like, half applies to me. <laughs> I'm on the straddle between, um, between Gen Z and millennials, so... I wonder how I would be as a ninety-freer then. <laughs> I think you're you're late gen, you're late millennial. I here here we go now. He's sucking off Iran's dick. Of course, when Iran attacked Israel again of recently, yep. I ran with I ran with the biggest baby face turn of all time. The entire world is cheering and roaring for Iran <laughs> right now. Uh, no, no, uh, you're not. Look, guys, there's only one valid. If you're a progressive, there's only one valid response to this. Fuck Israel and fuck Iran. They both suck. How about that? Yeah. But fuck course, Israel, fuck Israel, and fuck Saudi Arabia. And I hope they both blow blow all three countries into the and, stratosphere. And, and America, too. Because they're also yep. on this too. America, yep. But Just see, blow the entire planet up at this point and start over. See, But see, we're nuanced and objective on like this clown. Yep. And again, of course. Yep. How about this? 
So of all these, only January 6th is the only one that hasn't gotten into anti-Semitism somehow. And I'm sure he would probably mm-hmm. find an excuse for it. And now, of course, we get into the third party one, which is where yeah. we're going to get to a little bit later on because this is really annoying. Democrats are terrified of the rise of third parties in Jill Stein, and they can't hide it anymore. Jill Stein's, Jill Stein's vote has been going down ever since she started. And he, and he's re- getting like... A- She's getting a fifth of, like, the lip of the Lulbertarians. Yep, like I told you, Libertarians That's have... That's bad. Okay. Yep, I told you, Libertarians actually are a valid third party, unlike the Greens. And he replied to a thing, Jill Stein blew it for Hillary Clinton. Will she do the same thing for Kamala? No, oh my God. She did, I like, don't... Yeah, like, Nick, don't buy, don't buy into this bullshit. No, Jill Stein did not cost Hillary an election. That was her fault alone, because she sucked that bad. She sucked so bad yeah. that she got progressives like me to turn away from her, and she got people to vote for Trump to keep her out. That's how much she was hated. Yeah. And if Kamala loses, mm-hmm. it's going to be because her fault. Nothing else around it. Third mm-hmm. party have no impact whatsoever. Yeah. And, in and, fact, and, if anything, they in fact, if anything, they actually they hurt Trump because more libertarians go would have gone for Trump. Careful, Vosh does not like hearing that. If you didn't hear, yeah, because <laughs> Bush, is, yeah, because Bush is the CIA agent, and, remember? And, and other anti third party people, they get angry when I point that out to them. They deny it. <laughs> mm-hmm. So yeah, don't listen to this crap. And of course. I didn't bring it up here because I'm going to get to the serious, unserious third party part. But he also regularly, 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 regularly promotes that he supports Jill Stein not because he agrees with her, but to fuck over the mm. Democrats and help they lose. Of course, because he's a Trumpist. <laughs> I mean, like I, I don't want to buy that argument because I completely disagree with it because they idiots like Bosch do it against me, but it, it's very difficult to deny when you guys are literally mm. promoting what they advocate for. You're helping people like Bosch and that yeah. makes me even more angry. I want them to be destroyed with this yeah. talking point. But yeah, mm. if you're going to vote Destroy for... them both. If you want to vote for the Green Party, like I did in 2016-20, you do it because you agree with them. Like, yeah. the, trying to trying to fuck over the Democrats should be the least of your concerns. It should be about trying to get the Greens to 5% so they get federal funded and hopefully mm-hmm. continue onward to actually be a threat to challenge both of them. But, like, yep. this is this is so childish and stupid. Like, come on. When I voted for exactly. Greens, that was not my, all my concern about fucking over Hillary or Biden. They were going to win my state no matter what, so I had no impact on that. Like, come on. you got and, I've, and, I, and, and on my end, I've got um, preferential voting. So, so long as I put um, Labor ahead of the Liberals in the House of Representatives, I can put the Greens and any other parties that I want ahead of them. Making me very jealous, of course, as always. And then, of course, now he's mm-hmm. got to dabble into some Islamophobia. The Muslims for Hair's oh, live oh. stream is tomorrow, and it's going to be content gold. It's going to be so perfect watching these sellouts explain why they should support the genocide of their own people. It's going to be one for the history books. Okay, first off, wow. first, first off not all Muslims are Palestinian, so is it really their, yeah, their the own people? One. Like that's it's not even not even all Arabs are Palestinians. Yeah, like there's different groups of Muslims and all that, and also Nick, haven't you considered that maybe just maybe they're supporting Kamala for different reasons than you don't seem to recognize? Yeah. Like you do realize a lot of people are voting for like me to keep Trump out. Like sorry, that's a valid reason. We don't. It's not yeah. about the policy right now. It's just about making sure that fascist orangutan doesn't win again. And there could also be people that agree with her, of course. Or it also could be maybe they think that she's not like this genocidal monster that you think she that you think she is, and that she's actually better on this issue than when it comes to Trump. I know you're not gonna exactly. like hearing that. Because I had, you know that because you know what Trump's gonna do. He's gonna personally he's gonna kill tell, him. He's gonna green light he's gonna green light BB to nuke Palestine because he's and that Iran retarded. And everyone. And Iran, yep. Yeah. And send bombs and um, send a massive bomb attack on China to start World War Three, like he tried to do multiple times during his presidency. And let Ukrainians die, and let yep. LGBT people in America die too. So that's like four let every cut. Yep, not just Ukrainians either. Remember, because Putin mm. won't stop with Ukraine. He'll go into Moldova, and then once he's done with Moldova, he'll go into Georgia. So you know what that is? And that's... then he'll go into the re- and then he'll go into. The rest of Europe for every single um, every single country east of Germany. 
So that's Which is probably what yeah. um, Revolutionary Blackout believes that every single country east of Germany is a, is an illegitimate te um, Nazi terrorist well, organization. Well, he does for Ukraine. I was trying to find Ukraine Nazi yeah. stuff. I couldn't find because there's so many of them from long ago. But yeah, that's mm. for Trump win. That's three plus genocides that would happen to just yep. one with Gaza, which is not good. The, the um, Ukraine mm. one is actively being fought against, whereas Trump would not yep. do anything. So. There's nuances to it instead of just genocide, genocide, yeah. genocide. You're one issue pony for crying loud, and you don't even care about because you all want Ukrainians to die. Like, you're mm -hmm. not a serious person, which we'll get to when the unserious third party votes because, man, did I go for a whole bunch of them earlier. But yeah. yeah, those are all the tweets, and that's only some, like, only 1% of the tweets I've seen throughout the years. I wish I could find more, but I wasn't going to go for another 50 pages of stuff to look up because he keeps retweeting mm. stuff over and over and over and over and each one of these tweets, yep. he's at least retweeted like five times each <laughs> yeah so yeah <laughs> we gotta say about all this not surprising as i've said remember that once you get it beyond a certain point in, all, in the authoritarian part of the political spectrum there's just no such thing as left and right it's just the authoritarianism and this sort of american diabolism is very prominent. It's just, it just like, yeah, we're just going to support everyone that America hates. For the grift! Kyle? <laughs> yep, it's the grift. Yep, exactly. Do you want to know the saddest thing? Uh, Nick? <laughs> I think you know, when it comes to the when it comes to the degree to that to some degree, Cole being American oh, diabolist, no. I genuinely think Cole's a true believer. He true. He like legitimately hates America. Yep, and we got. Talk it out of, out of him if we ever got the chance. Because yeah. <laughs> unlike this piece of shit, he'll actually listen. <laughs> See, yeah. maybe if you were a genuine person, Nick, like Kyle, maybe you wouldn't be a clown that you are. So enjoy being a clown. Yeah. Fucking idiot. That was fun mocking him. So now, what's mm -hmm. on to next? Now we get on to the third topic, which is... Where is it? Mehdi Hassan destroying Dum Dum Mehdi! Like Patrick said when they were selling Yay! chocolates. I love you. Mehdi! We covered him last time when he made fun of me, mocked Jill Stein because she was an idiot. He yep. went after idiots on Twitter, and boy did he viciously went after them, and he made them rage like Karens. Oh my god! God, oh, good. he got a bunch of them so bad that they spewed covert racial slurs at him. <laughs> Imagine being a progressive mm. using racial slurs against a Muslim. <laughs> well, they did that to uh, um, Shark a little while ago. Who? So, a year or so ago, but Shark 300. Uh, oh, he's Muslim? I did not know that. The no, they know. were doing um, black slur. They were doing anti-black slur oh, towards yeah, yeah. him. <laughs> yep, not surprised. Not surprised yeah. at all. I wouldn't be surprised if the Revolutionary Blackout Network 2 doing it. Unfortunately, yeah. guys, um, the Vanguard video is over 31 minutes long, but it was the only one I could find mm -hmm. that was covering it, and it was so funny. Oh, man, Medi yeah. triggered everyone. So let's get into the laughing. By a bunch of people who were wrong. <laughs> um, let's take a look here. This was an interesting exchange that started on Twitter. Um, Medi... He, he was getting oh, Medi Hassan's gotten Benor, so good since he got have, murdered you know, by got was, um, <laughs> metaphorically murdered by MSDNC. But he says we will not bend the knee to those who say a Palestinian or Lebanese life is somehow less worthy or less equal to an Israeli or American life. And he links to a speech he gave in D.C. Usman Noor says, "Good statement. If we refuse to bow to them, then we must refuse to vote for them." To which Medi Hassan responded. Who do you prefer as president come January, out of interest, of the two viable options? Yeah, really? Who do you prefer of the two? Because guess what? One of them is actively fighting other genocides. Well, yep. unfortunately doing another one, but might be willing to try and stop it. Because remember, BB yep. hates Kamala. If she wins, maybe yep. she'll fuck over BB, which would be very based. So you got to keep that in mind. Or do you want the orangutan back? Who will not only mm -hmm. let um, Bibi and Israel do whatever they want to the Palestinians, but also fuck over yeah. Ukrainians and let mm -hmm. um, genocide of LGBT people happen. Multiple yeah. genocides all over the place. All these genocides, and then you only got one with Biden right now. Mm -hmm. So what seems worse yeah. in that regard? I think it's obvious if you care about this yeah. issue. 
Usman you support Kamala, and that's the end. I would vote for Jill Stein. I believe that democracy is more than just once in a four-year election. I Buddy, believe it is about people Medi holding didn't power. Ask you who you're voting for. Local, he asked you, oh, Kamala or Trump, levels. who would you want to it win? It requires consistent yeah. awareness and scrutiny. Buddy, energy you and don't, 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 don't change the subject said, on Medi. He is going to wreck you. He's getting his um shell smash all set up. My question. This guy ended the conversation there, posted these screenshots. Again, instead of responding to Mehdi's tweet or answering the question, he says, I'm sorry, Mehdi Hassan, I have respect for you on so many levels. In many ways, you person personify integrity and courage, but you're losing the plot. You cannot be an advocate against the genocide in Palestine and then insist that people vote for the party that did it. And I, don't, I don't think he was saying that you n insist that you vote for him, but acknowledge who's better mm -hmm. on the issue. Exactly. And Ian, yeah. if whoever you want to vote for is your choice, it's none of my concern. Before yeah. we get into some of the drama, some of the beef that But again, you didn't answer his question this like Jill Stein could. Exactly. At, do you have any thoughts mm -hmm. on this It's so simple, yet you people just can't do it. I don't get it. The whole thing. Yeah, it's because they uh, don't want to be held to account because they're idiots. Yep, I already said why. Because I was part of yeah. people before. The instead of everybody mm -hmm. who points out the obvious flaws in it. Did you see how it's really easy to just pontificate and say, you know what, guys, if we all simply stop paying rent tomorrow, they wouldn't be able to price gouge us, right? That's not a political solution. That's not an outline yeah. for success, right? It's not a course exactly. to take action. It's a way of absolving yourself of any guilt. And I understand. For some people, they absolutely cannot bring themselves to participate in the lesser evilism, and I do not be. And unlike Vosh and other that. idiot liberals, what I mean, you don't want to do that. If you don't like want to vote for Kamala, that's fine. You do you. Uh, but guess what? Exactly. I am, and you are going to cope and deal with it, just like liberals yep. have to cope with it from the other way around. Don't the see, lesser evil. Kind of see more dilate L plus ratio. Fair enough. You guys, in this regard, act like the liberals that you hate. <laughs> and so yeah. Reduced harm society. You vote uh, for horseshoe theory in this regard. Us, by the way, because <laughs> I think we're yeah. voting for Kamala Harris, right? I would much rather have a candidate who is going to put an end to the genocide, right? I bet this Usman fellow probably tweeted from an iPhone at some point. So, you know, he's willing to play the game, too. Again, you as know, I point out, I mean, you know how those iPhones are made? Child yep. labor, slave labor. But are you responsible yep, for it? Much. No. But no. it is part of capitalism, friend. So mm -hmm. you got to realize you got to get stuff bad ways until we regulate it out of business. Away from all of society, yep. but in this narrow instance, he's decided that he's he's drawing a line in the sand. So and don't act like you're like this pure draw a line angel never does anything wrong. He's a crazy wrong. person. And I don't really have any smoke <laughs> for the Suzman fellow. I don't know who he is. I don't. He doesn't have a real political platform. As far as I'm aware, uh, he's perfectly free to make up his own mind and vote for Jill Stein if he thinks that she's the best candidate. And he sees a viable and path that's fine for her if you to think she's president. the best. I don't though. And so the real problem I have is acting like for you some do you, reason, I'll like do Betty me. Hassan, uh, a, a Muslim mm -hmm. man, I do believe somebody who has been a tireless advocate for this cause, somebody who lost their show on MSNBC along with other Muslim American anchors, right? This is a man who has put his money where his mouth is. He's been a tireless advocate for this. And you have smoke for him? Yeah, no, I totally agree with that, man. And also, I think that Imagine something more third-party supporters need people. to reckon with <laughs> is the question that Mehdi Hassan asked here. Who do you prefer as president come January out of interest of the two viable options? Third-party supporters, um, they love to run away from this. And it's something that I find to be very cowardly. Even when I... And as someone who regularly was always told this question, I could tell you what their answer would be if they were honest. Yeah. My, For me, like in 2016, I didn't buy the lesser evil argument. I thought Hillary and Trump were uniquely bad and there was no difference between them. Yeah. 2020, yep. I didn't think Biden was a lesser evil either. That's why I didn't vote for him. I thought he was a brain dead fool and a far right piece of shit. So I also didn't think there was no difference between them. But I did want Trump to lose. I was just hoping that yeah. there would be a, like the Green Party beating them or something like that. Now this time mm. around, not necessarily want Kamala on the win. It's more of just gotta keep Trump. Wanting out. Trump to lose. Yeah. yeah. Like that's my evolution on it. Now what these people do, it depends. Some of them, like me, also they don't buy the argument of like it's only those two, which I don't. Because Jill Stein, the others, they are options. Well, they win or not, it's a different question. But there are other options, people. So stop acting like it's only those two. Yep. They also would um, like I said, don't buy the argument. They um. Might not want to say either way because they 
are afraid that they might be viewed as like endorsing the people, which I also would agree to because I didn't want to have any association with Hillary or Biden because they were that bad. Uh, but another thing too is, and this is the more bad faith people, it's because of the grift. <laughs> yeah, because the grifters and they hate everyone who doesn't agree with voter, their grift. I was always honest about the fact that yeah, come <laughs> election good. night, you you damn well bet that I am hoping and praying the Democrats win. I want to see the right wing meltdown. I want to see their tears. I can't I wait to, to see when Trump loses yeah, the next month normal, and he's going to mm -hmm. rage and mold like a baby and, and, like and try and do January six again. Person. I understand. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah, the Democrats are way better mm -hmm. than the Republicans, right? It's not that difficult if you believe in like basic government just on a very basic government level right um so th that's been something i was always 100 percent willing to admit and i don't understand why so many people on the third party left in the third party movement can't give a direct answer to this i, I think already it said really why reek of intellectual Ugh, dishonesty because we know cowardice. why it's like I i'm sorry that you don't like either of the options but these are the options Vermin Supreme is not going to be president. And like president. I said earlier, I actually don't necessarily agree with Gavin there. There are president. multiple Even options. Just went out the win is another question, percent. but there are other options. Yeah, yeah, that's on November yeah, 6th. Yeah, like, she's not going to be able to do it. Oh, Dylan Burns and all of them refuse to acknowledge, you know, too. Michigan. Mm. They keep talking about this. We're going to turn Michigan green. No, you're not. But even if you did, okay, now what? Does that stop the genocide? No, it doesn't. Um, anyway, with all that said, Zach, do you want to take a look at the beef? Another thing, too, is these... People are also so full of themselves that think that they actually have any chance. Like they actually, yeah. they actually think they're gonna cause Kabul of the election. <laughs> if they think they, if they think they're good. They think they're gonna take Michigan. Uh, you don't even the show up on the polls. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Let's scroll. Because <laughs> there's no <laughs> way you're earlier, going to. I it yesterday, I sent it to you because I was thing. like, oh man, you know, another oh, no. fruit basket it's for Brianna. the vanguard. Time for us to. Uh, uh, it's not, it's Brianna, Joy Gray, uh, yeah. Brianna, Betty don't, adds, don't do it, Brianna. I you, you know what happened to Jill Stein? Don't fuck yeah. with that chuckle, Betty. He's gonna shell point, smash you with a rollout. Disagreeing, I voted for yeah. Biden, and he just did defense curl. Don't do it. Four hundred million, four hundred millions and millions and millions of damages. doesn't want Donald Trump. Don't do it. He's gonna wreck you. Your hatred for Republicans. He's like I said earlier. He shuckle combined with Sharpedo on Infinite Fusion. And this is yeah. the aqua jet too. Shit, crazy <laughs> and rough ah, skin. Yeah, and say. rough skin. He says, imagine if you used the ah. platform to help the Don't fuck with that shuckle sharpedo hybrid. Generational political environment. Yep. Instead of He's a shark and he'll smell your weakness in a moment, the like Joe Stein. Party, <laughs> it's not too late. <laughs> Brianna lives in a fantasy oh, that's right. land. She was raging at when Jill Stein flopped so bad. I remember that last episode. Yeah. The outcome for the yeah. Green Party. Oh, she no, I mean, she wants round two. Brianna, no, well. you're going to die. Powerful debater, and I'm yeah, you're going to be you're literally she's going to be right? murdered. But what literally she's going right to die. Now Come on. To a sharpedo She knows Jill Stein has no viable path to... Now, I'm not talking 2%, 3%, 4%. That Jill Stein is going to... Only because she's glommed on to the suffering of the pro-Palestinian people and acted like she's a solution to it when she absolutely is not, she may kiss 1% of the national vote. And Zach, I don't even think she's going to get 1% either because of how low she pulls. She only hit 1.2% in 2016. You really think they're going to get that high again? Wow. You don't really think when she's getting 30 yeah, live viewers on the Green Party YouTube and then she didn't even get 1%. No, she didn't want 2020, but people to come Green out and vote in 2020 didn't dumb? get 1%. You know what I'm saying? And so this is just crazy yeah. for Brianna because she's debasing herself and she's trying to cast stones at one of the best advocates for Palestine that we have with mainstream credibility. Did Why you just use rock throw on a shuckle? Everybody who you better hope it doesn't have counter. And talk to them about how the United States foreign policy is, is a disaster and do so in ways that they can understand without making them feel, you know, debilitated or afraid or like they have to tune it out, right? Because the other elephant in the room is there's so much global suffering. We cannot be exposed to all of it and process it correctly. So you need people like Mehdi to coach the mainstream audience into understanding and caring about it over yep. time. You can't just kick and scream because that doesn't accomplish anything. Oh my gosh, I was really disappointed for um, Brianna yeah. when I saw this. Oh yeah, it's completely ridiculous, man. It's it's completely ridiculous. And I think that, I mean, her whole framing of this is just inaccurate. Mehdi Hassan is a political commentator. It's his job yep. to give his And opinion. it's smart, unlike it's all of you. It's not his job you. to cheerlead for a party. That's actually, ironically, what you do, Brianna, you're the one like retweeting links to donate to the Green Party and like retweeting official Green Party 
leaflets and stuff like that on a regular basis, which is fine if you're an activist, if that's what you want to do, that's cool. Um, but that's not the role Mehdi Hassan plays. It's not like he's the leader of the Sunrise Movement or something. No, he's a political commentator. It's his job to share his opinion and his analysis, not to virtue signal. Now, I happen to agree with Mehdi Hassan's opinion and analysis a lot of the time, but it, you know, it would be like if you tuned into a, a show where people were giving commentary on football like on the nfl and instead of actually talking about the game that was happening they were just complaining about how unethical the nfl is right? how is the it's nfl like, we unethical right about that, people we're trying to commentate on a, on a game right now like do you have anything to say about that do you have anything to say about either of the teams like i, I don't know isn't that kind of what we're discussing zach gavin i, mean, I do we could talk about it forever and, and i could tease you for being chiefs fans and have a viable <laughs> chance of winning the democrat and the republican uh, so his that five and zero record is that reality. fraud and yet, the home sucks this year how about that one <laughs> options, as have I. why because it's obvious to anyone who's a thinking an intelligent person and who actually Not cares about people. this country and is going to have to live in it for the next four years. I mean, obviously we all are, um, but does that not mean anything to you? I don't want to live under another four years of Donald Trump. And I neither do I. I. I, I, don't I, way. I don't have any right to advocate for At least you wouldn't have to live under it unlike me and Zach and Gavin. <laughs> of our government you can say that. You can say, nope, you don't get the right to advocate for women's rights to receive abortions or whatever. You know, pick your issue. You don't get to uh, uh, advocate for your neighbor's rights in this country because of the crimes of America. If that's your position, then just say it and say that any participation in American politics is automatically disqualifying and makes you immoral or something. Because that's clearly what your stance is. Anyone that participates and congratulations, at all in you are an idiot and if you think level that. and who's not yep. a professional loser, that person's just not even worth talking about. Again, it's pretty honest. She still is quite butthurt yeah. after so it's like, being wrecked okay. by Kyle Being, last okay. year. What's the point? Yes. What's the point? Because I don't. Oh, she's Mehdi always butthurt. Mission in life is Careful, to come out here and virtue signal for that <laughs> and browbeat everyone well, who's not part of the same. It doesn't matter. Green <laughs> presidential campaign that he is. Let's take a look at Mehdi Hassan's response. Oh he no! Three things. She fuckle with shuckle. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Under any circumstances, you are. And I remember you being fine with his last one. Yeah, too. remember she's an accelerationist. She was perfectly okay if Trump wins again when she was on Kyle's champ, Kyle's video. And by the way, yep. for anyone that wants to claim this is outrageous, Brianna's not okay with the Trump presidency. Yes, she is. She's said on air on her own podcast that she's an accelerationist. That she's already admitted that she buys into this insane, ridiculous logic. Right? Uh, she doesn't yeah. care. They had an argument about it on Crystal and Kyle and friends and. Yeah, yep, like, and oh, Kyle destroyed her. Increase the chances. Imagine of getting Trump destroyed by Kyle, and he didn't. And he didn't and even try. Is, yeah, I don't care. Like Medi will. Good point. Uh, <laughs> Gavin, That's a hell of an accomplishment. Has been repeatedly advocating for this strategy. Imagine right, being a more um, vote, um, um, third party American Diabolist than Kyle. Vote third party in 2020. That's constantly something. Saying to her audience. That's like mm. Hassan level accomplishment. The Democratic party to <laughs> yeah. Over the last eight years, I have seen the Democratic Party run way the fuck to the right to get suburban Republican voters, not Green Party voters. Yeah. Right? I actually it's have just never really seen really painful and annoying. Think about negotiating with the Green Party. So again, what it is... Is I mean, they did try and think that, remember if they tried yep. and the only, um, and the only talk to um, Cornell remember of the Democratic Party mm -hmm. moving to the left at all instances I remember like that the too. appointment and NLRB. It's not because of the Green Party's influence. It's because of Bernie Sanders' influence and people like that. Face like Bernie Royal, running right? the Democrats. Mm -hmm. Like we told you, it. If you want shit done, you're Democratic gonna have to run to the in the Democrat Party. Anyway, many goes on that way. Why do you think Bernie did so well? You don't. Two percent yep. for the Greens in October means that it is too late to do anything but help Trump in swing states, as Trump himself said. And yet, and unfortunately, remember what we're going to get to in a bit. There are just a lot of Green yep. Party. It's that actually say they just want um, Kamala to lose, which means they want Trump to win. Yep. They're literally buying mm -hmm. all. They're, they're literally reinforcing the arguments of Bosch and idiots that are anti fur Yeah, party, which pisses me off even more than them saying it's the stuff they do. Come on. Like, just don't say it that way, for crying out loud. And also, you're not going to get 2%. I don't even think you're going to even get 1%. Yeah, once again, I yeah. think so yeah, the the, the long-burnt Aryans are going to get more. 5% that the Green Party is always trying to because achieve. Because unlike you, they actually are a valid third party. Say, well, that actually it works. Well, like they actually exist. In 2028, we'll mm. have some federal funding. And they're not, and they're not a, a fucking serious, right? AI but machine. What? 2% doesn't secure jack shit. It doesn't secure yep. anything. Well, actually, All it is is a you know mirage that, like I said, will wash away 
on November 6th, like a sandcastle after the tide comes in. You know what I'm saying? Like, who Fucking cares? Fucking Libertarians got 3% in 2016, I mean, remember. Okay, cool. Oh, wow. What yeah. What does that actually mean in reality? They did Nothing. get over 1% in 2020 as well. Bullets, they mm. see 2%. They're, honestly, they might appoint Jill Stein to be a part of the cabinet instead of a Republican. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Democrats are so scared of Jill Stein. Really yeah, they're so scared. Yeah, no. You and Ware and others have alienated so many people who agree with a lot of your views Sadly, due to your toxic behavior, insults, smears, lies, and circular firing squads. Goodbye, mm -hmm. Brianna, and good luck. This Bam! is true. Maddie! No idea. Savage with that 400 million damage! To watch and yes, yep. and yes Brianna. Know, understand. The you turn off of a lot of people that would agree with you because you're I such a hack. believe no yeah. better than to do this, and instead they're debasing the entire movement by just writing everybody off who doesn't immediately run to support the candidate that they're being compensated by, directly or indirectly. You, If Jill Stein wants my vote, she's got to drop her anti-Ukraine support, and Trump has to go. That's like the two requirements yep. if she wants my vote, and even that's not Definitely. even necessarily guaranteed. If you want my vote as more Green Party, hey, like I tell Democrats... You have to concede to my demands. You got to concede to my demands now. How about that one? They yeah. call him a genocide lover and calling them, you know, hateful people. Oh, I'm and a genocide lover come from Kamala? Because of the basket of you guys don't support you. Ukraine. 100%, bro, 100%. Mm -hmm. And, and Medi is you're, absolutely correct you're a gen to identify yep, they want this you issue. People it's, are it's, uh, Chinese unipolaris. Yeah, you're no different, so I don't want to hear it. Your argument's irrelevant as far as I'm concerned. It's really you, are, you support, gen you support genocide in Ukraine, Moldova, like, and Georgia. Come out here and act like. And um, for all of you want Trump to win LGBT as well. Swear is yep. out of pocket. Everyone, unacceptable. And how dare everyone like that? But come on, man. This is a humiliating look for the Jill Stein campaign and for the Green Party. Uh, Jill Stein. I don't Pride know, Gavin. A, when Jill Stein couldn't answer the simple question last time, I thought uh, that was I humiliating. It's been <laughs> Paul running her account, so I guess he's in the yeah. Either way. Picking oh, look, speaking of Jill, we're flying to Medi. Not a good Jill, no, party. you don't Medi want Medi round two of this. You remember what happened voter. last time? Like you messed with the shark and the It's going to be round three. Mainstream platform. I'm serious. Like, Damn, when the guy you really are a I think she's a glutton for punishment. He was speaking to Damn. He You're not letting Medi fire. do this to you? Um, he just wasted the five rollout. Now you gotta let him set it up again. Commentator most mm -hmm. average Americans will ever encounter. Uh, to act like he's some shit. You better have to protect act like on he's you. Some DNC mm -hmm. sellout. But that's no not gonna be enough. Absolutely outrageous, and it proves just how out of touch. Don't worry. Jill Stein I'll and land it all five times uh, so here, for that 6%. He says, <laughs> Fresh from attacking <laughs> ignore it, Eric Hat. Um, I would say it's fair. I don't know if they attacked Nor Eric Hat. They certainly condescended. Nor Aircat on of several here we interviews go. and said using that, slurs said that against Medi. She doesn't Medi. understand politics. Yep. She's too new to the game. She's too stupid and naive. So I mean, it was a, it was definitely condescending. Um, but anyway, he says Jill Stein and Butchware are now attacking me as a rat uh, house neighbor and uh, FBI uh, house agent. Nigga. <laughs> what a great way yeah. to help the an FBI and stop agent. The genocide. The Greens truly leading the way for the left and for Muslims and. Again, like I said, Jill Stein tried to say, oh well, tried to say this is a lie. Medi says, Butch, uh, well, he, he provides the receipts and he Butch shows where Butch is Jill Stein's VP nominee, too, if anybody don't know. And he called Medi a house ninja. Of course he did. Remember yeah, I told that, you about those uh, covert, uh, covert, yep, covert yep, slurs? For Kamala <laughs> yep. House, yep. In on house all these ninja. Ain't that impressive? Behind a paywall. Condemning the Imagine a minority yes. progressive no, a calling a fellow Coin progressive Pell Muslim a slur. <laughs> Again, this is the vice president of the. Well, that's because party. they're no, that's because if you're not in their in group, Hassan. then yeah. they're allowed to be as racist as as they can sound like Nazis to you because you're evil. Oh, of course they're, and of course he's raging because Medi was commemorating ten seven. Of course, not some mm -hmm. cringe liberal, not like Rachel Maddow, not. Even that How lady dare on the Breakfast Club, who was an Angela against, Rye or um, whatever. No, Medi Hassan. Israelis and Palestinians him together. Cointel Pro, yep. calling him a rat and a Butch house Butchware, are you ninja. an anti-Semite I mean, by any is chance? just completely Ooh. ridiculous. Apparently. And embarrassing. Not to pearl clutch. I'm not saying, like, how dare you, Butchware. But I'm just saying, as a political organization that is trying to come off as serious, 
This is you really the think throwing out sl slurs to like the this best progressive journalist is going to help you grow up? Grow up. This is still also America. you going after for ten seven. Now this I have how to you keep the left. Un now I have. Now okay, I feel sussy about Harris, you. I love that this is my mm -hmm. opposition and because you're never going to lose the Democratic Party vote. Never are. It They're is. Only, I'm here in a spot of black field. I'm not doing anything. That's why she has a bunch of losers running her fucking campaign. People who can never win a race in their entire life. And Islamophobic at the same time potentially. Who were rejected? That are but hurt and bitter and they want to plagiarize a bunch of literal serious you know problems around the world and they yep. want to plagiarize that and act like there's a solution for it they might as well be fucking larping in the field it's not touch well, that's grass. Yeah, what's solution, doing. and it's embarrassing yep 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 and well, do not molest the brass type pokemon that here. does I'm not sure you all count. know that and it better not be no Ordish, or now you're gonna be. Now it's gonna be personal if it's or, if it's an Ordish you mess with. <laughs> Brianna and Betty both used to work. They're probably gonna miss try miss like me out the Rada. Intercept left the, the serious not stars, the cat Pokemon too. Um, let's take a look at this. Bree mm. responding to some of Medi has or a little game pushback. Or they want to get uh, stepped on by a Sarina. Extremely yes. personal. I find this very interesting. A lot of times, people that are just married to the strategy and refuse to see any other perspective and refuse to. Respect any other you like I said before, like dealing with hearing all these people's. Should we take over the Democrat Party or do we run for party? Bitch, you do both. It ain't that hard. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, yeah. But more, and if and if you did have to prioritize one, you take over the Democrats. I know you're not gonna yeah. like to hear it, but Instead that's what you gotta do. Instead of on the grounds mm -hmm. of the issue, but of course you're gonna rage and, and larp the strategy instead. In question, mm -hmm. seems like they like to make it personal, uh, very personal. So let's take a look at what Bree said. In response to Mehdi Hassan, or she says, I remember when you looked me in my black face and claimed your brown children made you more vulnerable to a Trump presidency than I was. Here you are now, millions of dollars richer after throwing my community under the bus, telling people to vote for a party currently oh. genociding Muslims and Christian Arabs, and anyone else in the way of a Jewish supremacist state. You want Palestinians to be grandfathered in like black Americans, the poor and working classes, and every other group who must suffer under the status quo so that you can get decorum in the White House. Your politics made Trump, not mine, and your willingness to lie I mean, about you're my trying to support Trump influence now, when I was an anonymous yeah. lawyer with 500 followers at the time is confounding. You are an independent journalist who has no obligation to carry water for the corporate Democratic Party and the network that gave you the boot, but you still do so by choice. Meanwhile, some of us have only gotten bolder after being fired for telling the truth. Brianna, <laughs> many got fired too, you cunt! Uh, for the same thing! Yeah. Between us. You the same reason! Yeah! The law so it's something you two should be, money, it's something you two should be working together on! But you don't want to because he wants to work with Democrats or whatever. Oh, boo-hoo. Exactly. And that's why Medi's better than you, so eat crow. In, in every way, way. shape and form. I left money to pursue my principles. I hope you can find... Uh, Brianna, what principles? You All you care about someday? is money. I, mean, I don't... This is crazy to me because Brianna... You know, she she went to work for The Hill, a corporation, Next Star Media, whatever. Um, and, and, and for the most part, it seems like, you know, and I, she did a great job at The Hill, just like how I think Mehdi Hassan did a really good job at NMSNBC. I don't Kevin, think either you, of those things are something wrong whatsoever. You, you I mean, think she did good on The Hill. About working for corporations being corrupt. That's true. She had made her entire brand off of that and then pretended it was an independent news outlet when she worked there. Yeah. Yeah. So, again, I don't have any problem with Brie working for The Hill. I also don't have any problem with MSNBC uh, or working with MSNBC. I think it's fair to say both of them got let go for criticizing Israel ultimately. But what I don't understand about this is that, um, like, how, <laughs> how did how did uh, Mehdi Hassan in any way change his message? His perspective is he the exact didn't. same. Unlike you, Brianna. He did Because he's not a Brianna Brianna did. Brianna's Brianna's did because his commentary. she's a Christian. Going all the way back to, like, evil. What, I don't know, 2017 or something. It's probably when I first started paying hmm. attention to Mehdi Hassan. I don't know, around that time. Um, but to act like all of a sudden Mehdi Hassan is sold out to the Democratic Party, all of a sudden he's turned himself into some propagandist. No, he has the same analysis. That yep, I, after looking up the 2020 election results, I finally found it. So yeah, Greens, mm -hmm. no, not Greens, the Libertarian Party got 1% of the vote still in 2020. Green Party yep. got 0.2. Oh, I mean, yeah. 
Imagine an election with over 158 million votes and you only got 400,000. Mm -hmm. Dude, you have so little votes, Green Party, that other people, not Trump, Biden, Joe Jurgensen, Hawkins, their other people had more votes than the Green Party. That's how sad it is. Always has. Yep. This is always what Mehdi Hassan has been saying. This is as consistent as it gets. Did you really expect Mehdi Hassan to come to this election with some radically different analysis all of a sudden he no longer thinks democrats are the lesser of two evils no of course this is his opinion he's just he's just giving his commentary like he always would your only or something problem that Brianna is that can't accept democrats can change democrats being better mm -hmm. than republicans which again is obvious but it seems like that's the only issue it's it's just that that makes him a sellout it, you you can agree with his politics on basically like, oh everything God, i've ran into so supported. many people recently that actually deny that that um Kamala is better than Hillary and Biden. I kid you not. <laughs> I ran to people and say she's worse than Hillary somehow. <laughs> Bernie Sanders, it's not like many Hassan, like Hillary That's Clinton stupid. or like freaking Pete Buttigieg guy. That so is you agree genuinely with politics, stupid. But it's just Hillary that he's is to better than Kamala. Kamala. Did you know Trump. that? <laughs> That's what makes him a sellout. Making oh, wow. an obvious admission that Ow. the vast majority of the country Ow. is about well, they to think also Trump make is better than 5th. everyone. Is every American who votes for Kamala Harris in Brianna's case, unfortunately, yes. Well, that's what you don't yes. understand. Yes. The answer is yes. Everybody that Brianna, votes for Democrat yeah. or Bernie's Republican looking you is an unwinnable you know basket mm -hmm. of deplorables. Yeah. Here's what pisses me off about Brie. She acts as if she's like fallen on a bunch of swords. She literally left her job as an actual independent journalist at a non-for-profit at The Intercept, right, to go work for Bernie Sanders. Cool. Totally fine. Become his press secretary. Do the Hear the Burn podcast. It was awesome. Gavin and I listened. No problem there. She then leaves the Bernie Sanders campaign, starts a bad faith pod. No problem. Great. Awesome. Uh, no explanation for why Virgil Texas left ever. Still uses him on the branding. Yeah, whatever, bro, whatever happened bit of an to elbow. Virgil? We'll set that aside. Hmm. Then when the Honeywell started weird. to dry up, decided, Remember actually, those I'm going to forget sexual all of allegations my principles about not him? working in corporate hmm. media. Yeah. I'm going to forget about all of the things that I said. And I am going to go and be the left-wing flank for a Trump donating billionaire for Nexstar Media at a legacy outlet called The Hill. Okay? I am going to watch as my good friend gets fired for their outspoken Palestinian activism. I'm going to not resign, and then I am going to throw a pity party for myself when the chicken comes home to roost and the boot drops for me. And then I'm going to, what I'm going to do is spend my entire time as a disenfranchised commentator, only coming after leftists, never uttering a single dissent when it comes to a Republican. And what are yeah, you- Yeah, you guys never criticize Republicans. Ever. Why what is the hell? it? Uh, that's always- Oh, what was- you're doing your black yeah, like they never criticize your republicans which is why this scene is republicans by so Jill many not gonna win but oh you know we because they functionally are yada, 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 yada. and then of course when you support a um kamala losing at all costs you and both you bolster people i really don't want bolstered so thank you for that really yada. pissing me off okay and then you mm -hmm. hate identity politics, and but you love to bring it up whenever it's and, uh, oh, and endlessly okay. playing yeah, identity politics, guys. too. Uh, we mm -hmm. shouldn't be weighing in on this. We're just too loud mouths. But don't worry. Jimmy Dore's out here farting, fighting for racial justice, right? <laughs> farting for racial justice. That's what he's fucking doing. Freudian slip there. Brianna. And what's crazy is it's like, you know, I, I you know, Glenn's been really nice to us. We have political disagreements with the guy. He's helped out our career a lot. <laughs> he's, he, 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 he tries his best to come to Brianna's defense, okay? He's like, I know a lot of people. You know, they've they've said a lot of great things about working with Bria. I've worked with Bria and loved it. I will tell you that when Brianna was rude as fuck to Gavin on Twitter for no reason, after Gavin had been nothing but charitable to her, after Gavin had been nothing but way nicer she to her on air than I was after Gavin had still mad about Kyle. When she was a huge pain <laughs> in the ass to schedule with, and I was like, fuck this, I don't even care. And then she comes on the show and Gavin does a fucking interview with her. He was so nice to her, and then she just tells him to kick a bag of fucking rocks. We had people reach out to us and say, hey, that was really rude of her. Don't get down on yourself. That's how Brianna treats people okay i've worked with brianna salty, i know brianna salty we don't Karen. Fuck, like this is this is this is how she mm -hmm. treats people this is how she is. so i can't wait we to can call all play that game for that one he said she said game. <laughs> yeah. you know what i mean i don't know i'm not gonna vouch for brianna's character i think she's full of shit yeah oh 100 100 percent. she's full of shit um yeah oh and that 100 we both heard this from mm -hmm. a couple different people yeah exactly as you said exactly as you said um and and someone else wants I'll to add a little bit of evidence to that pile let's take a look at this scalding hot tea 
from no. Medi, Medi Hassan, guys. Um, this oh, no. Wild. He's got his he, rollout five. He's got his next one. He's got all his rollouts set look, up. Look, Here we go this. for round uh, three. Like oh, said, no. Oh, and bold now text. Just making up stories about me. Here so we go. Brianna's anecdote about how he, uh, you know, told her that his family was more important or vulnerable than she was or something. Again, I don't know. I wasn't in the room. I'm not going to weigh in on what happened, but Medi is saying that's made up. That never happened. So he says, now you're just making up stories about me, having lost the argument and having spent the Trump presidency proudly defending white racist Trump voters, everyone who worked with you at the Intercept, the Bernie campaign, and I am guessing the Hill remembers you as the toxic, dishonest person you are. You don't care oh, about black or brown people, only about getting clicks and attention by starting pointless online rows with others on the left, never the right. Anyways, I won't give yep. you that opportunity anymore. My record on Gaza speaks for itself. And as ever, it was a mistake to engage with your do dishonest, nihilistic, toxic self. Goodbye. Woo! 500 million Damn. damage oh, again! Look. <laughs> And yeah, again, guys, she's still oh, taking a billion damage. A little bit of journalism. How do you do this, Brianna? Again, uh, but let's just oh. again, got multiple people apparently out to us. We well, got Max revived everywhere. With Brianna uh, and confirmed it apparently exactly does. what Medi said and said, "Hey, don't get down on yourself. I think you guys are doing good." You were work, supposed right? to use people protect that on that mean as fuck to, by the way, but had a little bit thicker skin and we're like hey i i really do appreciate that you guys oh wait you're too much of a grifting cunt to have okay. yeah. to know how to talk use tms or breed or tutor <laughs> talk about me having to do some ret uh, self-reflection me lying in front of traffic for brianna so that she could turn around and turn into this meanwhile all of the people that i gave a shellacking to over the years being way nicer now saying hey guys we get it you were angry also, you were frustrated Maddie, you understand now like, unfortunately we do have to operate in these narrow parameters right that's the kind of grace that we were given from people who were actually on the left and it stands in sincere contrast to the way Brianna has always behaved. Yep, 100%, 100%. And again, I think it's really sad because I don't know why Brianna feels like why she thinks it's so necessary to take this toxic approach when she's dealing with former colleagues, when she's dealing with uh, people that frankly she should be having on her show to debate about this stuff and engage in strategic discussions. I'll put this one up I'll on screen why, again, Gavin, but it really is, again, not to tone police, but <laughs> I think a lot of people have a big issue with this uh, tone coming from the really, really rabid third party supporters, right? Um, imagine if you use your platform to help an anti-genocide candidate. So that, like, why not just say, hey, I, I see this differently. I have a strategic dif disagreement with you. Let's have a discussion about this on my podcast. Like, why does it have to get so personal? Why does it have to get so petty? And why does it have to get so ugly right off the bat? You know what I mean? Like, why do you have to act like Mehdi Hassan loves genocide or that he's somehow uh, manufacturing consent for genocide because he's doing his job as a political commentator? Again, Kamala or Trump is going to be president. Uh, no one else is going to be president. So Mehdi Hassan lives in reality. He's acknowledging reality and he's commentating on the election as it <clears> is, <throat> not the election in your mind where maybe the Green Party wins Michigan and then in 2038 they win the presidency. Like, no, <laughs> we're living in reality here. Mehdi Hassan hates what's going on in Gaza. He can't stand what Israel is doing. If you paid any attention can we. to his commentary or coverage, you would know that. He debates way more Zionist freaks than you do brie uh he takes to task way more of these pro-war pro-genocide people than you do it's what he does professionally and he's made an entire successful media company based around that uh unlike you who gets diminishing returns on a channel that's increasingly irrelevant Mehdi hassan has actually created an entire new platform an entire new outlet almost entirely based around his criticism of the genocide in Gaza and his criticism of the Democrats enabling of it. That being said, he still lives in reality and he still understands that there's two choices on November 5th. And one, one of them is, is a fascist Harris, orangutan. One of them is Donald Trump. So he's not using his platform to help an anti-genocide candidate. No, he's using his platform to do his job, to be a political commentator and to give his opinion. His opinion is the correct one. That's that Kamala Harris is the lesser of two evils and that it would be an absolute unmitigated and potentially existential disaster for our country if Donald Trump is reelected. 
Sorry but that makes you uncomfortable, care. but it's the truth. And instead of just engaging on the strategic discussion, instead of having this man on to have a good faith, no pun intended, discussion about it, instead it immediately devolves into personal sniping and petty grievances and stupid BS. And, oh, one time you said this thing to me while we worked at the Intercept. Intercept. That's probably not even true, but I'm going to dredge it up now to try to smear your character uh, as I have no actual rebuttal to your oh, my strategic argument. So, yeah, that was awesome and all that. Thank you, Medi, for being based and all that. So, of course, looks like he ain't here at the moment, unfortunately. So, looks like we are on to our next topic, which is... Ah, Karen Kasparian, right-wing grift uh, yes. completed. So yeah, we yep, she is now officially a turf. Well, before we get to that, we had to say about Mehdi Hassan just doing 500 million damage on every dumb dumb leftist in sight. <laughs> that is so good to see. He has become so much more based since he was ditched by MSDNC. And Brianna, keep touching grass, just not grass Pokemon. Mm -hmm. And especially Ornish, or I'm coming for you. Nobody yep. molests an Ornish from my sight, understand? So now, let's get to Karen Kasparian's right-wing griff completed. So, yep, she Anna. Is now. Yep. Anna. She oh, is now a turf. So, yeah. Anna from TYT. We've made fun of her over the, the last old year. Turd. And she has officially converted into a turf and a conserva cunt. As she was yep. on Matt Walsh's show recently. Yep, he loves oh. Matt Walsh. He likes Matt Walsh now. So, yeah. Give it another year and she'll be just she'll be indistinguishable from JQ Rowling. Oh boy, maybe she'll want to read Harry Potter now all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. She so, probably would just be like, oh I love all the abuse that happens here. This is so good. Oh man, how does it feel as a fan of the series then? <laughs> Literally the Super Carlin Brothers is the only um interaction I have with that with that franchise now. <laughs> Because J.K. Turf Rollin' and Anna ruined it for you. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it must suck me to a Harry Potter fan nowadays. <laughs> it kind of does. <laughs> Although I barely, I barely consider myself a fan now, though. Just curse out J.K. Turf Rollin' in your sleep, Daddy. <laughs> yep, the turf ne curse out the Turf neo-Nazi. So, yeah, guys. Anna has completed her conversion. And let's see. Let's cover all the things she's gone bad on. First off, oh god, we remember her um her um birth in person meltdown. Yeah. And, and, oh. and remember that I was actually defending her for a while at first because I know for a fact because I've seen people like on Twitter on actually do yep. bug people about using birth in person. So my argument was at the time, we don't know what happened. Maybe someone actually did do that. Let's wait and see and all that. And, of course, we found afterwards that she had her Karen meltdown at bat because she had to do a doctor's thing, and that was an option she could do. You freaked out yep. over an option. Really? Anna? Really? God, yep. that was so Karen moving. Man, make me look bad now for having to defend you on that one. Like, come on, dude. It's not that big of a deal. So, yeah, there's that. Oh, she also supported Republicans in Los Angeles like Chank did. Yep. She's gone on her pro hardcore yep. pro crime bullshit. Well, not pro crime. Yep. That she's she thinks crime is everywhere in LA when the stat yep. show is there's, not. there's now fifty bit that is fifty trillion crimes going on. Which it ain't happening, but of course mm -hmm. Anna has of to be. Of course being a turf it. being a turf conservative who will be a turf neo Nazi by this time Friend, next year, talking about Friends with Baby Don, Boy. Uh, yep. Um, Nice, or talking with J.Q. Rowling, or that woman oh, that um oh, advocated no, for him, oh, or to, or or talking with um that woman who won who has stated that she wants to put um trans people in gas chambers, that um J.Q. Rowling funds and that she and of course this doesn't have anything to do with necessarily being like right wing, but of course she doesn't support um Ukraine and the Russo Ukraine war. Of we course she doesn't. Wars. Oh yeah. my god! And now she's on Matt Walsh's show. Like, yep. God, like it's just complete. Now, oh yeah, she doesn't. Even she has. She's not a Democrat anymore. That's all complete. Ah, is. she's a Republican now. Independent at the moment. At the moment, though. yeah, she'll be a Republican soon, yep. and she'll be. 
but, but Sal Lumb, she'll be she'll be supporting she she'll be saying let's do yeah she'll be she's already supporting Trump I betcha. Imagine making fun of Rave Dubin years ago. Now all of a sudden you've become Rave Dubin. Yep. What TYT? What is it with you? Every time you hire people, they always become batshit insane. Now Anna's part of them. What is it with you? Don't you have and standards? Jake's not much better, right? And J it's because all it's because the entire it's because the old turds are now becoming uh have, the young Turks have become the old turds and they're now and the entire organization's now right wing. Oh yeah, and Chank is also falling into this yep. grift too slowly but surely. He's mm -hmm. fervently defended Anna. He told us all on Twitter yep. to fuck off and all that. <laughs> yeah, very mature of yep. you. The old turd, the old turds are now becoming very mature the of new you, chunk yogurt. <laughs> yep, chunk yogurt and Anna cunt spastican. Or do I? Or is brown buffalo racist? Could I use that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh God, that goes back to fucking AIU days. Yep. God. Oh boy. So yeah, TYT. I mean, I've been saying, we've been saying for years. TYT sucked. I've stopped watching them regularly when they had their SJW mm -hmm. melt um air. Oh my mm -hmm. God. And of course, thank you that moment too, because that's what brought Hassan to this moment. Cause yes. Because he was born at air. Thank you, yep, Chank, for bringing that yep. idiot nephew of yours. Bringing your cunt. idiot. You idiot nepo baby. You Who's fucking an idiot. Fuck, like fucking you too, Chank. Version. Yep, the political version of Lance Stroll. Let's and see. that's actually kind of offensive to Lance Stroll because he's shown flashes Speak of good driving. Speaking of Chank, how about we go after you? You are a failure politician. Every time you ran, mm -hmm. you lost. Remember you thought yep. that Biden was never going to beat Trump and all that? How much of a yep. fool you were in that regard? And I don't care if Biden's runs, so we'll never see for sure, but we know damn well Biden would... I still think Biden would have won easily because Trump mm -hmm. is that bad. Oh, you also support Republican mayors in L.A.? So much for a progressive, yep. am I right? Because you do the pro-crime mm -hmm. bullshit that Ann does. And now you're, of course, as always, defending Ann at all costs. Jeez, you're like cucked to her so badly. Like, gosh... <laughs> No self control, Chank. Come are on. they like? Of are, course. Are they secretly? Are they secretly <laughs> banging behind the scenes or something? Oh, Crystal Kyle vibes. You're saying? <laughs> <laughs> except, 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 talk kind of toxic. Wouldn't be surprised that he's the he's become such a white knight for her over the years. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh. So yeah, guys, Karen Kasparian. Thank you, I'm um, Zach and Gavin for that nickname because it's so funny. Has completed mm -hmm. her grift. And I will not be surprised within a year or so she's become full rave dubin and supports Republicans yep. in every single regard. I'm not surprised. I won't be. I'll, I'm mm -hmm. actually expecting her to vote for Trump this time around, too, and everything. Yes. Let's go. So, yeah. What do you guys say about that? Karen Kasparian completing the grift. Mm hmm. No surprise. Imagine no not, surprise. Imagine not being consistent based progressive like us. It's very simple, mm -hmm. you know. It's not that hard. I guess, yeah. I guess, like Rave Dubin, you just gotta file that money, like Mister Krabs. Yep, you're too I'm busy. Move. You're, you're too busy looking at that penny rolling across the floor, and you can't help yourself. Like Plankton can't help not getting mm -hmm. the Krabby Patty formula. Yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my god! So get wrecked, Ka Karen. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah. So now let's get into the next topic. In a moment, we're up to the VP debate. Now, of course, I originally wanted to title this J.D. Vance Fuckle with Shuckle, but unfortunately, <laughs> I can't because Walls was not really a Shuckle this time around. He actually was kind of no. weak, unfortunately. If mm. anything... The uh, thing he, he's admi he has admitted that he's not great um, around the... Debate. Things like this. Which, to be fair, I also am too, so I'm not surprised. Yep. But unfortunately, the debate mm. pretty much almost went exactly perfect for Vance. Walls didn't hit him as hard as he could, and he didn't sound like as much of a complete idiot like Trump did, to the point where his approval mm. rating actually went up. Thankfully, it's still in the negatives. Mm. But at the same time, Walls' yeah. approval also went up. Yeah. Yeah. So, in the end, like Kyle said, it was kind of a wash. Like, it didn't seem to matter much. Mm. But, as much as Walls didn't do as well, Vance had two giant, and I mean giant, fuck-ups that really yep. would hurt him. Him on abortion, mm -hmm. but of course the one I got Kyle's video on, which was really bad. Him downplaying January 6th and Trump losing oh, 2020. Oh. He refused yep. to accept 
that Trump lost, of course. Why am I not surprised? So yeah, let's watch yeah. this train wreck. At least. All right, guys. So the biggest moments of the debate that everybody's talking about right now, and that may have had the biggest. Oh yeah, that reminds me too. Another undeserved low light for um walls is when they kept bringing up. Were you in China during Tiananmen Square and trying to like get him like to say he was wrong about the dates or whatever? Mm. Fuck off. That has nothing to do with him being vice president. Can you stop? Bring up stupid things that don't matter to me. Go after well, JD Vance for his stupid shit instead. Yep. Impact. Although I don't think mm -hmm. in a VP debate, I honestly don't think much matters. Period. I think it's a wash. Almost no matter what Man, happens. I was so hoping but that he was going to. To the extent people are talking about any moments, with him, but he didn't. Unfortunately, this is probably the biggest one. Maybe it's a tie with the abortion. Unfortunately, one, but, uh, he actually, no Kamala Harris. Yeah, I'll get to that in just a second too. I'm going to put both in this, but here they are talking about the 2020 election, January 6th, election denialism, and this is just a brutal, devastating moment for J.D. Vance, because he has been put in an unwinnable situation. He needs to go right along with the boss man who says he still won the last election. If he doesn't do that, he's going to get an angry phone call. You might even get... You didn't, buddy. RFK, Sorry. Whatever, right? Um, but at the same time, this is undermining his seriousness, right? Like, the fact that he's willing to lie about this shit means he's Satan, <laughs> right? But on the flip side, he can't not lie about it because then he ruins his current political future. So if Trump mm. loses, JD, I need everybody to understand. If Trump loses, JD Vance is so toast politically, like he's just so dunzo. He'll remember, guys. He'll still be mm. um senator in Wisconsin until twenty twenty eight. So hopefully that kills his chance so much that he can't be senator next time around. So please yeah. make sure he suffers because Trump will probably blame JD Vance, right? He's not going to take the blame himself. Well, he'll say he won, he but never, then never will. Beyond that, he'll blame he'll go on to, like, blame JD Vance. Yep, he blames um, everyone so except himself. Because will that's turn on what him. his narcissism is. But again, is he's lying. too stupid and full of himself. There's no winning. It's just mm -hmm. if you lie about Pretty it, much. you're lying, and this is fucking evil and wrong, and it's a preposterous lie. Uh, if you don't lie about it, you piss off the only people right now that still like you, which is MAGA. So, rock in a hard yeah. place, and Tim Walls just nails him on this one. Here we go. He is still saying he didn't lose the election. I would just ask that. Did he lose the 2020 election? Tim, I'm focused on the future. Did Kamala Harris censor Americans from speaking He's their mind so in the wake of the 2020 COVID situation? Mm -hmm. that, is a damning, that is a damning non-answer. Mm -hmm. It's a damning non-answer for you to not talk about censors. Vance, the fact that Walls had to say it to you, he just met a Hassanjo on that, that moment yep. alone. Oh, man. Look, yeah. That's the closest yeah, that you're was... gonna get in that debate of fuckle with a shuckle. Yep. He hit you. Let's see. He didn't set up shell smash. He did defense curl, but he only got like one or two rollouts in. That's the most he got on you on that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so inartful in terms of trying to pivot and obfuscate that everybody saw through it. It's the most direct question in the world. Did he lose the 2020 election? I'm looking at the future. I'm not looking I'm at the past. I'm looking at the future of trying to do January 6th again. I'm looking at the future now and the fact that I'm a fucking idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. I want to end democracy and We've kill We've been through him, the laundry list of ways people. that Trump hates the First Amendment. He hates free speech. He hates a free press. He's pro-censorship. He launched Truth Social and they started censoring on Truth Social. Everyone right? hurts he said my should feelings. That's why I want to censor people. People in jail for a year if they burn the American flag. That's why everyone needs to die. In this country. Go he to sued, your beloved Poodler uh, and Pooh Bear for if you want no free speech. million dollars because they dared to call yep. uh, Trump's 2020 election lies Go the big lie. He sued together. over that. And of course he Ooh. lost. He says he wants to deport pro pals and pro Trump is pro-censorship. The two things that trigger me the most in today's day and age when it comes to politics are the lies that Trump is somehow anti-censorship and Trump is somehow anti-war. These are the biggest How does this falsehoods keep and persistent? worst, most incorrect People, narratives of all time. Neither, so and you stop. will see so many fucking morons run with never it. Has, no matter how many times you correct them, be. they don't care. But putting that aside again, all you have to do is say, yes, he lost the election. But he can't do it. Because he knows he's going to get an angry phone call. So he humiliates himself Ooh, and embarrasses Ooh, himself. Ooh, and don't fuck yourself. New low. Wait, 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 guess what? Go fuck yourself, fuck Todd. Yeah, yeah, here's the thing. Fans, Trump can't do anything to you. What's he going to do? Kick mm -hmm. you out of the... Out of the vice president spot, he can't pick anyone else now. He's stuck with you, so stick to your yeah. damn guns. To humiliate himself in front of the millions of people, and say, "Bro, it was, we look to the future, bro. We look to the future." Yeah, and sure, stuff, bro. All right, All right and of course, get ready he to do January six. He didn't lose the election. I would just say, yeah. did he lose the twenty twenty election? Tim, I'm focused on the future. Did Kamala Harris censor <sighs> Americans from God speaking their mind in the wake of look at Tim's face? He's like, I can't believe you couldn't just say it. I can't believe you couldn't just say it. 
This is that. Look at that face. Have that like, face. It's such an obvious answer. He this can't was a layup for you, and you couldn't do it. The 2020 mm -hmm. COVID situation. That is has a she damning. That is a damning non-answer. She. It's a damning non-answer for you to not talk about <laughs> censorship. Obviously, Donald Trump. Oh and I think yeah. Oh, remember he uh, had a doing all sorts of censorship. Remember, wow. Oh, yeah, that There's reminds you. People that are doing the censorship. Remember he had a crybaby meltdown because the yep. um, announcers fact checked him and he had a Karen meltdown yep, over him and, the, and they shut off yeah. his mic at one point. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Karen Van. Stop. We're problems in you were such a baby. That was Clayton, hilarious. Like, yeah. Facebook and Twitter doing content moderation with trying to overturn a free and fair election. And here's the thing, Vance, you may not like this, and I'm not necessarily happy with either, but free speech doesn't apply to Twitter and Facebook and all of them. Those are companies. Mm -hmm. They can do whatever they want. Now, should they? Maybe not, but that's just the reality of it. Free speech protections that the government can't censor you, but corporations, whoever, can do whatever the hell they want. I mean, beyond idiocy. Attack us for not believing in democracy. The most sacred right under the United States democracy is the First Amendment. You don't You're believe in it. There's no First Amendment right mm -hmm. to misinformation. Kamala Harris wants to well, use the power of speech. government and big tech to silence people from speaking their minds. That is a threat to democracy guys that will long Elon outlive this present political brave. moment. I, I don't like want to Republicans to both reject and he censors censorship. everyone. Let's not only does he censor everyone, he boosts far right dipshits all the time. Every time, I, can't, mm -hmm. I told you several episodes ago, every morning I wake up, Nazi post after Nazi post after Nazi post. Yep. I'm tired of seeing it. Let's, let's yeah. argue about ideas yep. and then let's and then I got, all that. And then I got to see the dumb, dumb leftists too that have to promote or promote by him yeah, too. Fire in a crowded theater. That's, that's yeah. the test. That's the Supreme Court test. Tim, fire in a crowded theater. You guys wanted to kick people off of Facebook for saying that toddlers should wear the masks. Governor does that's have the floor. Oh, fire in a crowded that's theater. That's Facebook doing their own that thing, That is pal. criticizing the policies of the yeah. government, which is the right of every American. Senator, the governor does have the floor for one minute to Please. respond to you. Yeah, well, I don't run Facebook. What I do know is, <laughs> is I see a candidate out there who refused, and now again, and this I'm pretty shocked by this, he lost the election. This is not a debate. It's not, it, it, it's not anything anywhere other than in Donald Trump's world, because look, when Mike Pence made that decision to certify that election, that's why Mike Pence isn't on this stage. Ooh. What I'm concerned about is... Ooh. Yep, Vance, that's something you got to realize. Pence, yep. if, I'm, if it wasn't for January 6th, I'm sure Pence would be the VP right now. But, of course, since mm -hmm. he wasn't a fucking idiot that tried to deny the election... They wanted to. Yep. They all wanted to kill him. It was like they wanted to kill every mm. Democrat too on January sixth, yep. and that's why Trump d ditched um, Pence. Where is the firewall with yep. Donald Trump? And Pence would have been a much better Where choice, is the but firewall? because Trump is if such he an knows, idiot, he could do anything, mm -hmm. including taking an election, and his vice president's not going to stand to it. That's what we're asking you, America. Will you stand up? Will you keep your oath of office, even if the president doesn't? And I think Kamala Harris would agree. She wouldn't have picked me if she didn't think I would do that. Because, of course, that's what we would do. I still so, America, can't I think you've got a really well, clear really choice on this election mm -hmm. of who's going to honor that Absolutely democracy and who's yeah. going to honor Donald Trump. That line yeah. of, that's why Mike Pence is not on this stage. Oh, <laughs> that's a brutal line. And I have to say, yeah. again, this is a consistent problem with J.D. Vance. He is far too online and far too immersed in weird right-wing conspiratorial bubbles, right? So in I don't his know about mind, that, Kyle. You saw how like, terminally online bro, Trump Russell was. Russell Brand is getting yeah. about if I say the, the thing about censorship on that social media. That was hilarious. But, like, yeah. I got news for you. Russell Brand is not the person you should be trying to convince. It's the independents and the moderates Imagine and the swing trying voters. to appeal to a sexual So, yes, this might be a, a lay and burn <laughs> on some yeah. fucking Fulchan message board, right? Then, or some then, weird right-wing podcast fair, those are the people where they like jack Trump. each other off all day and have <laughs> yeah. conversations about having conversations. That's my favorite one, right? We like to have conversations, bro. We're all about free speech and free open exchange. But Watch this. Right? Anyway, let's I'm, all agree with about how great Trump things. is. Trump, yeah, Trump Elongated so bus grave. Censor like, now. Yeah, you're impressing those people. Yeah, pretty you're much. not impressing the people you need to win the election. That was the most uh -oh, inartful uh, dodge of all fucking time. Of and as I already pointed Twitter out, somehow. the idea of Trump is anti-censorship <laughs> and going to save the First yeah, Amendment is preposterous. Amazing, He's one of the most yes. anti-First Amendment presidents we've ever had. I haven't talked on Twitter hours and they're still raging. And by the way, I love his... I don't run Facebook. Oh, are you gonna are you gonna condemn the Facebook censorship? Face it's Facebook's decision, you idiot. Companies can do whatever they want. Free speech doesn't apply there. Now, should it? Maybe. No idea. But that's just how it is. I don't run Facebook. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. And by the way, also, can we just say weird time to be making these kinds of arguments 
when fucking Nazi propaganda is now a daily occurrence on Twitter. Thank you, I Elon Musk. Like, Thank you, Kyle, for pointing out, too. Content moderation. Yeah, I'm not sure pointing I want to see, like, well done. A, a compilation called The Best of Adolf Maybe Hitler. Maybe you wake up every right? morning and oh see too. Oh, my God. All right, but that, so that was, I think this is probably no, the biggest point of the debate, the one people are talking about. The I don't need, but I don't need, have I Tim Walton and Number on J.D. Vance when it came to the issue of abortion. The two issues were... Oh, yeah, he fucked the up badly on abortion, too. All this was abortion funny. Abortion <laughs> and the January 6th election. Oh, yeah, January 6th, stuff. too. And they also did really good on health care. He, he played January 6th as well. We Former President Trump said in the last did. debate that you believe he abortion, has, quote, has in the ninth month is absolutely fine. Yes or no? Is that what you support? Hey, I'll give you two minutes. That's not what the bill says, but look, this, this issue is what's on everyone's mind. Donald Trump put this all into motion. He brags about how great it was that he put the judges in and overturned Roe versus Wade. 52 years of personal autonomy. And that's hurt you ever since, Republicans, and you have to eat crow thing. about it. Amanda Zawarski would it. disagree with you on it's a beautiful thing. I, they a young hate it in because, Texas waiting no, they for the love it because weeks. they want to be able to murder women who have had abortions. <laughs> But guess who doesn't like it? The majority of Americans, pals. How yeah, about that one? Here in the membrane, mm -hmm. she needs to go in. The medical care. Pro at that choice point, is one every time. And that would have been an abortion. Yeah, but in Texas. And we're going to win in Maryland too, make a constitutional she right home, in the state. Got sepsis, <laughs> nearly dies, and now she may have yeah. difficulty having children. Or in Kentucky, Hadley Duvall, a 12 year old child, raped and impregnated by her stepfather. Those are exactly. horrific. Now, when God asked about that, Senator Vance said two wrongs don't make a right. There is no right in this. So in Minnesota, what we did was restore Roe versus Wade. We made sure that we put well, women in charge of their health care. But look, this is not where if you don't know a This is what happened when Hadley, you have a base Democrat will, governor people. Project 2025 is going to have a registry of pregnancies. Yeah. It's going to make it more difficult, maybe, if not impossible. Maybe just maybe if there's a progressive Dem run, maybe just maybe you support them and you shut up. To get yeah. perception. Well, and limit access and otherwise you need to access to infertility treatments. For so many of you out there listening, me included, infertility treatments are why I have a child. That's nobody else's business. But, whoa, but those things are whoa, being they don't like that. The catch-all on this is, is, well, the states um, will decide. IDF. What's right for Texas might not be right for Washington. That's not how this works. This is basic human right. We have seen maternal mortality skyrocket in Texas, outpacing many other countries in the world. This is about health care. In Minnesota, we are ranked first in health care for a reason. We trust women. We trust doctors. He also goes on God, to make his classic argument of like, look, man, this is about freedom. So Get the government yeah. out of our fucking personal lives. And then J.D. Vance goes again. on to lie brazenly about his position and his past positions on abortion. He said, like, bro, I never supported a full, uh, an abortion ban. I don't even know what you're talking you're about, bro. You're full shit, Vance. You know that? Literally, uh, there's the, videos well, on you supporting his website before he was picked exactly. for VP says he's, and I quote, 100% pro life. 100%. Yeah, exactly. You think we're going to He was on right wing easily? podcast no. saying it should be illegal like for a woman yeah. to travel from a red state to a blue state to get reproductive health care. He said that. All the shitty, dumb, weird positions about and there's another no dumb, fault dumb divorce and ban IVF. He took Ooh. all of those positions. He literally said that if a wife is in an abusive relationship with her husband, she should stay in that relationship. This guy's an because extremist. Republicans don't want divorce. He joined some weird far right exactly. Catholic cult. They don't He's want fucking anything. 30s, right? Good. They want to be hide the ball to be on this, bro. And Do not let him play hide the ball. No matter what. He has these yep. horrible beliefs. Same also, he virtually started like at right about for... six or seven, according to them. It's no surprise because he's too busy raping couches. <laughs> I'm for <laughs> yeah. care of things of that nature, bro. No I'm consenting for the couches. child tax credit. I want to make it five thousand dollars. Couches then are just inferior. had a vote in the Senate on extending the child tax credit. He didn't even show up for the vote. He didn't even show up for the vote. And every Republican voted against extending the child tax credit. These guys are liars. hear that dumb dumb leftist. He tried to split the difference on exactly. abortion in this debate where he's like, oh, yeah, because that's another thing. And oh my God, Brianna's like the ultimate example of this. Whoa, look at this Republican actually saying some a base progressive thing potentially. Let's talk about that nonstop, even though they are liars and you should never trust them. So like, pretty yeah, much, yeah. Like, 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 bro, Willer and back your trust us. They're full so, of like, shit. Never believe conservatives ever. Like, well, yep. We're good. We're Never believe that. We're that's good, what we. We're that's good. what we do. Unfortunately, far too many working. people do. And Tim Waltz and that's clocked him over the head again problem. and again and again and again. Oh, and the other thing he did is he tried to. He. I can't believe they still try to do this. You guys look embarrassing when you do this. He tried to be like, well, but Tim, don't you support murdering babies? 
You support murdering babies, bro. How about that? <laughs> you you think that's going to work? Well, those guys don't understand. First of all, it's like 95 or 98% of abortions in this country happen you do before remember 20 Walls weeks. is a Midwest Democrat. Pre-fetal viability. You think you can fuck so with Midwest Democrats like that? That's an important fact that people don't bring up, you. right? In the he rare instances where there is like a late-term Betty abortion, fucks it is Brianna. always... Because of some extended yep. circumstance. And because, oh my God, beautiful when this that isn't going to make he it. Is no it's terminal. West Coast or it's East die, Coast them. Right? Or the, mm -hmm. the mother is going to die. Those are the only late-term abortions. But they make it seem like there are these psychos out there who are like, Midwest bro, Dems are I'm just going to wait until East Coast like, and West yeah. Coast before Dems the baby is supposed to be born, and then I'm going to brutal, mm -hmm. brutally massacre And that's offensive to Blitzies because happen. Blitzies have special that defense guys, walls. they have such <laughs> a low <laughs> opinion. <laughs> Of well, women remember that, making yeah, decisions remember, for their own bodies. They think Jenny, like, yeah, remember that um, Republicans, you know what they are? They're snom. <laughs> no defense. Oof. Like, they do yeah. abortion snom for sport. Snom with their defense they think it's minimized. like funsies for them. Ooh. Like, let's go watch a movie and get an abortion. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that doesn't happen. You're minimizing and get stomped for happen. double damage right. and a flinch. Right, I guess we'll do a little more on this. Yeah. Yeah. Donald Trump has been very clear awesome. that on the abortion policy uh, specifically, uh, that we have a big country and it's diverse. And California has a different viewpoint on this than Georgia. Georgia has a different viewpoint from Arizona. And the proper way to handle this, as messy as democracy sometimes is is to you let don't believe voters in democracy, make these decisions, so let the individual off. states make their abortion policy, and I think that's what makes the most sense in a very big, a very diverse, and let's be honest, no. times a very oh, very choice. and divided country. That oh. is such a chicken shit position. I honestly have more respect for the people who are And also, Vance, we know you already said thing. you support banned yeah. abortion. Yeah. Saying, it's on if video. You say abortion is We've murder, covered it. Why would you say, well, leave whether or not to legalize murder up to the individual states? If 25 states want to green light murder, I'm cool What's with wrong that. What's states bro? wanting to bring That's back such slavery? A position. And Tim Wall's position is no, this is a fundamental human right, and we need to restore Roe versus Wade. That's his position. The JD Vance position, he's a fucking chameleon. Now he's in a general election. It's he a was one of the hardcore super pro Kyle. like people, mm -hmm. <laughs> like Lionel Rose much. and them, and then now it's bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, leave it up to the states and the beauty of democracy, bro. As like, don't be on, looking man. as a quacksire. What a joke. What a joke. Yep. All right, so and there I, you have it. And I said that all quacksire compared to the Vance. <laughs> for JD Vance. And these are probably yeah, the ones that, that people are talking. <laughs> all right, so with that out of the way, we, so we had to save out the de debate. Unfortunately, Walls didn't do as good as it I was, would Oh, It wasn't easy. Walsh was definitely more nervous than... Um, was more and more nervous than Kamala was, and, it, and he said he struggled, and yeah. Vance um, decided to tone down the crazy, so he didn't come off as completely unhinged. But when he got to the most important things, he shat the bed, which was awesome. So, thank you, Vance, for us to laugh at you. Fucking idiot. All right, now, on to the next topic. Give me a moment. On to our second last one, which is the Green Party voters being unserious. Uh, and of course, this applies to me specifically, as you saw. Yeah, but I all the people you've been arguing with. All day, while you were sleeping. Well, out in Delaware, of course. And I'm dealing with them right now, as they're at me like crazy again. Even though I haven't talked to them in hours. Mm -hmm. And of course, we kind of covered this with um, Nick Cruz and Brian Joy Gray, but... Green Party voters, if any of you are watching, especially the terminally online fuckers, you're not serious. You're jokes. Like, how many times do I have to see um, idiot after idiot after idiot after idiot tweet or do a video like Jill Stein has done numerous videos with other Green Party people where they say yep. the goal is not to win the election. The goal is just to keep Kamala from winning. You guys are actively... Promoting Vosh, Dylan Burns, and all the other idiots that are anti third party, yep. their argument. You're proving them all correct. And I don't want that. Because, no, you guys yeah, aren't because responsible. Because they're CIA agents. And yep. you're proving the CIA correct. Yeah. Which means they can now do more coups. Yep. Like, you guys are not serious. And then, of course, you get to, like, because I had to deal with this all day while in Delaware while you were sleeping. I stumbled. I. Whacked a horn's nest of idiots that kept insisting genocide this, genocide that. If you vote for a Democrat, yeah. genocide, genocide, genocide. That's all you guys talk about is genocide this, mm -hmm. genocide that. 
guys, yeah. you support a candidate that doesn't care about Ukrainians. You guys yep. are just never as have, guilty, will. you clowns. And every time, yep. for months now, I bring this up, they can't respond to it. They can't, because I'm right. You can't go around... And they're raging, wrong. You can't go around raging about people supposedly supporting genocide when you guys do it too. We're no different in that regard, so know your place. If you vote for Jill Stein, she's gonna... She's not going to do anything to stop the Palestinian genocide. I hate to break the news to you. She's mm, not going to do anything. Plus, she's not going to win. She's going to fuck over the Ukrainians. So that's another genocide to enable. So that's two now ongoing. Yep. And then you're not going to do this. But, of course, to all the people that say you want Kamala to lose and help Trump win. Well, if Trump gets in, he's not. He's absolutely not going to stop the genocide of P Palestine. He's actually going to encourage gonna it. He's going to genocide everyone else. He'll... Let Ukraines die, so that's number two. He'll have every yeah. LGBT... As well as Moldovans and Georgians. Yep, so that's a whole bunch of others. Have let um, murder of LGBT across the country happen. So that's like three plus genocides right then and there. And that's still worse than what the Democrats are doing right now with Palestine. Like... Yeah, you're, you're, way you're, more. You're, you're, not, you're not being serious. You're acting like child. You're acting like idiots. You're so terminally online, you can't even mm -hmm. think straight. I remember, there was someone on my side, he says a lot of people are probably too young to even vote. <laughs> Which yeah. the way they're acting, I wouldn't be surprised. Probably, they're probably not. Or maybe they're not even American or they, too. Or they're only just now doing it. Like, come on, people. Like, even I. Like, I sympathize with you. I want the genocide of the Palestinians to stop. And I voted for the Green Party the last two presidential elections. So I'm on your side on that. But you got to be more pragmatic about it. You need to realize, hey, people prioritize different things. Even among like yeah. Palestinians, Muslims and such. Because there are a lot of Muslims that are still going to vote for Kamala for different yeah. reasons. Like, keep Trump out, which is the reason I'm voting for her. Or they agree with her. Or maybe, you're not going to like hearing this, but maybe they think she'll have a better chance at stopping the genocide of Palestinians than exactly. Trump or Jill. Like, you got to think yep. about it rationally. Like, if anything, you're voters shaming people as you cry about others voters shaming you. Mm -hmm. And it comes off to me yeah. as, like, you guys are just desperate for attention and grifted. Mm. Like, when yep. I voted for... The money. Yeah, when I voted for the Greens in 2016-20, I voted for them... Not to fuck over Hillary or Biden. That wasn't my concern whatsoever. I voted for him because I agreed with them. It ain't that yeah. hard. I didn't say anything about trying to fuck over the Democrats. I had to deal with years. Vosh and other clowns that saying I'm a Nazi or Nazi enabler for not voting for the Democrats. Yeah, even though they're state. often the Nazi enablers instead. Yeah. You guys aren't serious. If And here's another thing too. You guys will never accept, because this is someone, another person that was talking to me too, said the same thing. You guys will never, ever, 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 ever vote for Kamala or any Democrat for no matter, even if they were progressive. God, I want you to ask us right now, Green Party voters. What if Kamala did right now exactly what we want on it? We're, if I'm president, I'm going to stop the um, Palestinian genocide of Palestinians. Now, whether or not she'll be able to do it or not, it's up in the air. But let's say she does advocate what you want. Are you going to all of a sudden change your mind and vote for her? No. Nope. Because we know... Never will. I know you guys. Because even I somewhat was like this too. But not to the same extent as you all. If she did do it, you would find another reason why you can't vote for her. Like Brianna. When she talked with Kyle, remember. You guys yep, are going to change... You guys are going to change the goalpost no matter what. You're going to find whatever... Always. Act, they're gonna, always, you, always you, changing it. Constantly. You, you will always find an excuse why... You can't vote for her, no matter what. So, mm -hmm. again, you're not serious. Like, 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 if Biden and Hillary proved to me that they were actually going to be progressive, guess what? I would have voted for them, no problem. But they yep. failed, and that's why I didn't. 
Now, Com- mm-hmm. Biden still failed the test in 2024, but because my goal was just to keep Trump out at all costs, I begrudgingly accepted voting for him. And then, of course, Kamala, too. Although, at least Kamala, if she wins, I'll get the consolation of having Walls as VP, and then he could potentially run 2032, and then we'll have a base progressive. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's another thing, too. You know these guys aren't mm-hmm. serious when they'll never support a Democrat no matter what. These guys... Exactly, Walls, yeah. This guy, when... These people, when Walls became VP, shat on him. They shed on him. If you're an actual progressive, you embrace how based he is. End of discussion. You should be thanking Kamala. She actually did the right thing. Like another person point out. Ugh. You guys want Biden to drop out. Okay, they did that. You want her to get a base mm-hmm. VP. She did that. And you're all still angry. Like, you're just never <laughs> satisfied. Always angry. Yeah. Like, listen to an actual smart third party voter. You got to... You got to cater to my demands and all that like democrats have to as well like support exactly. ukraine and discussion you mm-hmm. just support it and discussion and also exactly. you you guys need to be more pragmatic you need to be able to work and you're not gonna like hearing this you need to work with democrats on stuff if they're on the right side it's not that mm-hmm. hard you can disagree exactly. with one thing but work on things with another and that's why, honestly, maybe the Green Party should just die and maybe a new progressive party should take over that's more smart on this because this is pathetic. You guys don't get votes ever for crying out loud. The, you, need, we, you need to be more like the Libertarian Party. They actually try because they're an actual legitimate third party that actually tries to win and all that. Oh, my yep. God. So, of course, what do you guys say exactly. about my epic meltdown? And, of course... Ah, oh, jeez, it's like... And of course, you can tell. Uh, and of course, as someone who actually has a viable third party, what do you have to say about that? You people are... Uh, they annoy me. Like, the Greens are actually... like The Greens are the other... Um, uh, the prospects actually have a chance to put the Labour Party in minority government so they'll have to work with them. <laughs> I hope they do it. It'll be... Albo's been shit light, so... Or potentially scare Labour into being progressive with enough votes. Mm. <laughs> like you'd have to get rid of Albo to do that. Yeah. So yeah, what do you have to say to these clowns if they want a Green Party to actually successfully like scare the Democrats? What do they have to yes, do? Yes, we actually need. They actually need to be people. They actually need to show off. Um, be good on policy, and they have to stop the circular firing squad. And actually and run in, and run in local yeah. elections. Yes, and start on the locals, stop. and then go up to stop. Focus on the pre- state, and then go up to federal. Stop focusing on the presidential run. Focus on local mm. elections and all that. And after this, we need to dump Jill Stein and try and find some new blood in here. Someone who's actually yeah. smart, like me. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, yeah. but then again, I would trigger them for somehow because I'm pro Ukraine or I'm because white or cis or male or whatever excuse they'll have. Yeah. I'll just trigger them violently somehow. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, because guys. they'll try. Yeah, the violence will try and kill you. Because <laughs> I'm just that good. Oof. So yeah, guys, you need to learn and all that. Stop being dum dums if you want to get my vote again. You got yeah. to change. You got to get better, and all that. So oh my god. Finally, got that out of, out of my system after having to deal with idiots earlier today. And look at that. Only another one ant. topic left after that. And, and that is another... Iran attacking Israel again and Israel attacking Hezbollah and Lebanon. And, of course, I got another um, message on Twitter, of course, from idiots. So I'll have yeah. to read later. So, of course, oh. I think this happened almost last time out, too. But we, we... Oh, yeah. It did happen somewhat last time out. And I mentioned a little bit of it. So, of course, last time we yeah. covered I, um, Israel did like attacks terrorist attacks unfortunately because they did kill civilians and other yeah. things but they did a whole bunch of attacks on Hezbollah and they mm. Israel absolutely killed like almost every single main leader of Hezbollah in just a few days like they decimated yeah. Hezbollah with no effort with the like the pager attacks and all that so I mean that's mm-hmm. good that Hezbollah got wrecked in that regard but that's not acceptable killing civilians the way they did that is mm. absolutely unacceptable and all that. Yeah. So, of course, that's what we covered last time. And, of course, since then, Israel Ooh. has done a limited invasion of Lebanon. Now, they're not mm-hmm. invade, They're not attacking, like, Lebanon themselves. 
The southern border of Lebanon yeah. is only oh, controlled. They're attacking southern Lebanon. Yeah, their own. The, the southern Lebanon is only Hezbollah, so they're not attacking Lebanon directly and trying to take them over like a whole bunch of directly idiots. Directly yet. Yeah, hopefully not. That would definitely be very bad if they actually try to attack Lebanon directly. Mm -hmm. But right now, they're not, and Lebanon has actually moved military presence away from the border before the invasion happened to try and avoid any sort of stupid bullshit happening. But they're mm -hmm. but the main thing is they're attacking Hezbollah, just like how back in the beginning of the year when America attacked the Houthis for attacking American ships, and idiots kept acting like they're attacking Yemen. No, they were not. Mm. It's the Houthis, not Yemen. Israel is yeah. attacking Hezbollah, not um, Lebanon directly, and hopefully it stays that way. But better yet, they need to mm -hmm. not do it in the first place because it's stupid, yeah. it kills civilians, and it's not going to change anything, even if you did wreck Hezbollah Pretty a not. lot. So, of course, <clears throat> after Hez um, Israel attacked Hezbollah back a week ago, Iran did another missile attack on Israel like they did back in April. Yeah. And, of course, yeah. nothing happened once again. Oh no, one person did die in the West Bank from a missile falling on them, which is unfortunate. <laughs> Saw on Twitter and all that, just crushed like a pancake and all that. Mm -hmm. So, but that's it. No Israelis were killed. Nothing. It's just like mm -hmm. the last time in April. One of those weird things where um, Iran's just like, we're going to fire this. This is symbolic. We're doing this for our propaganda. Yeah. Fire? But this for our propaganda purposes. You'll probably shoot pretty much all of it out of the sky, which will be good for your propaganda stuff. And then yeah. maybe we can do it, have a small chance of de-escalating a little bit. Yeah. Now, Israel has said since that they're going to retaliate. Now, nothing's happened yet. And unfortunately, America has considered, in some regards, maybe being involved in some sort of retaliation. I would say mm. no. No, 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 it's just a tit-for-tat response that just doesn't stop. Mm -hmm. it, you need to stop. Like, yeah. like we said earlier, everyone involved in this is bad. There's no good sides on this. Mm -hmm. That's why you shouldn't be like pro-Iranian like dipshit Nick Cruz yep, was exactly. earlier. And don't be like pro-American Israel like a whole bunch of idiots on Twitter are and such. Mm -hmm. well, everyone is bad in this regard. And then Israel, oh my god, this is so stupid. Israel, you know, not Israel. Iran said, like, if America, if America and Israel attack us, we might actually attack other countries in the area as, like, a response. Like, Saudi Arabia, what? Azerbaijan, Jordan, Oman. I'm not joking about that either. Whoa, 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 Iran, whoa, Iran, whoa. You, do you, whoa, whoa, that would start World War Three. You want every mu Muslim country in the Middle East hating you and going to war with you? Do you really want that? That would be so stupid. Jesus! That's a hell of a, that is... Jeez! That's like suicidal. Like that stop. is suicide. Like you're not gonna like we know the reality of this. If you got in a war with Israel or America, you're gonna lose. That ain't debatable. Like don't even try it. Like in the end, both of you guys need to stop. Like we said back in April. Just proxy, just proxy. Keep the proxy stuff going with Saudi Arabia that you've been doing for the past many, many, many millions of years. Israel, seemingly. Israel, you yeah. need you need to leave. Um, Gaza and the West Bank. You need to stop your genocide. You need to stop invading Lebanon. Iran, you need to stop attacking Israel because it's just going to lead to something that's going to be eventually out of your control and all that. You need to learn to just take mm -hmm. the L and let Ham Hezbollah and Hamas and all of them just die. Let Israel just kill yeah. them off and just deal with it. You're not mm -hmm. better than them. Just deal with it. You're all going to have to accept you're going to have to deal with each other and it needs to stop. And America needs to stop arming Israel too and try and encourage stuff yep. with Iran. Just exactly. stop, 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 and stop. And discussion. But of course, since we're neutral, nuance on e both sides on everything, yep. we're going to be hated for it. Everyone's <laughs> going to attack us. Because we're based and smart, unlike everyone else apparently. Yep. It shouldn't even be thing. hard. Oh my god. Yep. So yeah. Hopefully, nothing's happened. It's been over a week and nothing's happened yet. And hopefully, it stays that way. Because who knows, next mm -hmm. time, we might not get as lucky like we were in April. Right. Yeah. And So, anything else you want to say on it? 
Guys, calm down. That'll be the big thing. Yep. Just calm it down. Let's not blow up. Let's not wipe ourselves out. Just as it seems like the aliens might be like, oh, they're actually kind of, they actually might actually get through this. And then they're like, oh, and there's like 50. So, oh, for fuck's sakes. Come on, humanity. They're like the Sprint in Command and Conquer trying to terraform Earth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so with that, guys, we finally went through all the topics, and yay, I'm going to have to merge all this video in one go because you had the leaf rat moment. Oh, well, that's because my I had, my, that's die. had the fucking um, instance the internet died on me. Alright, guys, but here we I'm go. I was able to go like 10, I was, able to, I was able to go 15 minutes before the before Discord itself went out. That was amazing. Yep. But anyways, guys. That's it for this episode. See you all next time as we cover the final episode before the 2024 election. Because the first episode in November, that's going to be the first main topic we're going to cover. So, see yep. you all for episode 114. See you then.